This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, the hierarchy of power is about to change because on this episode... What's that? Oh, wait. Oh, it's not happening anymore? Well, I guess we're just talking about Black Adam. I'm Teth Andrew. I am uh, Stephen Sadak. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Siska. Black Cabin. Oh, there it is. Better movie. And we hate movies. Hello, everyone. Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in, as always. And thank the calendar gods that we were able to get this one in under the gun. Don't, don't you be thanking anybody for this well, shit. No, don't I, you? I, I'm no. thanking my lucky prayers, because on an episode like this, I could just kick Thanking up. your prayers, huh? I'm thinking something. I'm th- <laughs> thinking Black Cabin uh, because I just kick up my legs now uh-huh. and let Steve take it away. Oh, Superhero yeah. <laughs> movie. I don't even have to be here. This is a convo around Jama Coyette Sarah's. Black Adam. Yes. Uh, wait, let me just try something really quick. Yep. Shazam. No. Fuck, I'm still here. Nothing that changed. Sucks. <laughs> that just, I was just hoping it would be like next week or something. Now, when that happens, both with Black Adam and, well, I guess Tef Adam and whatever the kid's name is. That Billy Bats. Shazam. And, sure, yeah. Um, do they retain the memories of what they're doing as superheroes? I believe so, yeah. Stupid. So, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, that's the it whole point be- of the, the Shazam movie, which I turned off. Oh, uh, nice. Can yeah, you me too. Run me through that. What, 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 what are you saying there? I thought it was more like uh, like a werewolf situation, you yeah. know, where like uh, Larry Talbot, you know, he blacks out, sure. turns into the okay. wolf man. So you're saying like... Goes on a rampage, doesn't remember it when he wakes up as a human. Again. Oh, he's wake up like, oh, Jesus Christ, I foiled three burglaries yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, for that... Was I in the Black Adam movie? Oh my god! I saved so many women yesterday. Damn, I'm good. Oh fuck! I just I fought someone with a shrinking ray. And, the fuck! All my pants are small. <laughs> this is um, this is really bad. This movie is worse. I will say on record, this is worse than I gave it credit for initially. Mm. Yeah, terrible, man. terrible movie. It's what? really bad. Uh, I kind of like. I like that there is. I mean. There is a central theme. Like, it's not all over the place. They are talking about one thing, but they step on it 500 times. Sure. The Wanting difference to be a hero, like, and needing killing, a champion. Do you have to kill? Oh, killing or not? in the name of. Yeah, killing right. in the name of as yeah. such. Like, that is the thing they keep coming back to. Yep. Is like, is murder necessary to, for justice or whatever? I'll tell you the Turns one thing. Is. Murder is necessary for me to fucking pay attention during That's, this movie because the only cool parts is when he is just dismantling people, including like the opening when he comes out the cave and he's sure. just killing all those guys. But man, that doesn't last I, long. I was almost a plus on this movie until... And it was early on. I give it that. But like when the painted black drop happens, oh, yeah. I scream. How did you not the- check out a bullet with butterfly wings? That's, dude. I mean, that's fine. It's, no, it's not. I'm, drop, fine. The, I'm fine with it. The needle drops in this movie made me hate music. Ordinarily yeah. in the morning, I put on music when I'm taking a shower. I was like, no, you're going to fucking shower in <laughs> silence. Music is bad. Music has hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> music can hurt. Like, oh, all of the needle drops are fucking abysmal in this movie. And the opening is a narrative tragedy. It's oh like an God. absolute <laughs> fucking car this crash. Is crazy. So yeah. they, we get this whole big, long, like flashback, taking us through the events of black Adam one, <laughs> getting us ready for black Adam two, which is what this is. Right? Well, yeah, where it's con doc 2600 uh, BC. Right. This is the place, Chris. Yes. The first place. The there weren't other places. There weren't places hey, yet. Before either. Rome. Before Babylon, before, before the pyramids. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> it was Can- uh, Kandak. And it's before that Wakanda, which is a very similar place that has a sp- super special mineral that uh, is being mined for super special reasons. Yeah, That's no true. kidding, man. I don't know what is dumber fucking. Uh, I mean, the big three, right? So Imperium, which uh-huh. is in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, then what the fuck is Vi- in Wakanda? Vi- Vibr- vibranium. 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 And then fucking Avatar's unobtainium. I yeah, mean, right. someone just create something that doesn't sound stupid, please. <laughs> the MacGuffinite 
we need yeah, to I'll, power the demon crown. I, I think <laughs> this is the worst of the bunch, at least to oh, me. Oh, easily. Like, I, the, yeah, well, the, I, I, vibranium, like, it's uh, that's not too like it is closer you're right yeah, uh, where and like uh unobtainium as stupid as the sound is an actual term it, in like, the, so oh right yeah, yeah that's dumb though. in the first six to 12 minutes of this movie which is narrated by a baby yes. i mean like uh-huh. it should be J- dwayne johnson doing this narration why couldn't it be dwayne well, i mean what the fuck the dude can read yes the dude has a, <laughs> a great rich voice for well, for a narration i'll tell you I don't why know, back in the old days there was a really cool pl- i'm like i'm fucking bored it's to trick you into thinking the kid is black adam oh, and okay. then when the twist happens it was it was his, 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 his son he was the father of the black adam you well get, it's so which dumb is actually because less interesting to me but yes. that twist is so stupid because they choose to have this like be silhouetted Dwayne Johnson at the beginning where oh, they're yeah. not showing his Which face. Is clearly him. And you know it's fucking Dwayne Johnson, so there is no twist. Well, I, I thought really. it was like, oh, like his dad was just like, like he looked like his dad kind of a thing. Like he grows into a guy that looks, sure. when he shazams right. out, he looks that, like a guy that looks That's like sort of what I was thinking. And this, this demuscled. Yeah. Which this is thing, crazy. It's very unsettling. unsettling. It's disgusting. Yeah. Unsettling. It really. It tells you that this guy, you better keep it in that gym, motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't being in movies looking like that. It's like a Todd Solin's body with Dwayne Johnson's face. Yeah. It's not that bad, but it looks like when The Rock started wrestling in the 90s. No, he, well, he had a big old fat body. Not fat, but like that muscle Broad. fat thing. Yeah, I, oh, he was always, he was always a true. big guy. Like they, he's never been skinny. It looks like they, I mean, on top of like skinny or not, they like condensed his shoulders. Yes. Like oh, yeah. He's not as wide. Well, it's just another guy. No, I know, yeah. but like it's fucking weird. <laughs> well, when that happens in the middle of the movie, it's uh, a little noir movie I'd like to call The Wrong Shazam. <laughs> Get Fonda back out for this one. <laughs> uh, somebody walked, a dame walked into my office and said, Shazam, and all of a sudden. I am a Teth Adam. <laughs> I'd like to report a superhero, my own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Teth Adam, Alice. I, uh, I I say Shazam, and I become a uh, a large person. That and a Maltese Falcon's made out of Eternium. <laughs> gonna drive by this roadside jazz club. So you're gonna go in and sing Shazam into the microphone. Could say I took a detour. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, in the in this opening oh, thing, we get yeah, okay. we get Kondok. Uh, which is the place you get King right. Aktung, you get the Ak-tung. crown, the crown of Sabak, and six demons of the ancient world mm-hmm. and Eternium. Mm-hmm. It's, I, a lot. It's, it's just so much at once. I just knew Steve would have all the info. I could just sit back. <laughs> I had to. I literally paused it because I was just like, "Take a breath. Yes, mm-hmm. take a fucking breath. You're not. You're not understanding any of this information. <laughs> but remember, Andrew, it doesn't matter. Yeah." No. <laughs> And I was, I mean, I was pissed at first because it's like, you see, like, he he gets the power and he walks into the king's palace sure. when the crown of who gives a shit is about uh, to be placed. Right. Sabak. Sabak. I, I don't give a fuck. The, the, the crown <laughs> is put father, on his head. Spock's father? Right? Uh, Sarek. Sarek. Ah, yes. The crown of Sarek. Um, I was pissed too, you know, by the way. It was my pants, though. Oh, you were just pissing your pants? I at was. The, yeah. uh, it was Johnson? scary. It was scary. It was? <laughs> oh, I thought you were just, like, brain dead on the floor. <laughs> yes, kissing in a say. seizure. Yeah, Did no, you just leave this world for a little bit? A little bit of both. Yeah, I should say into a guy that pisses his pants. <laughs> I, I guess we can turn you into a superhero yeah, that I, way. We don't really have a, a say, god for that. I say Shazam and I turn into Liam Neeson. <laughs> Is that a bad, bad place? Complete with the huge hog, dude? Uh, unfortunately, no. I've been cursed by the demon crown <laughs> that the hog is little, but the piss is mighty. Our, our penis talk is... Uh, is uh, so it's uh, happened already, Chris. <laughs> Sorry to the listeners at home. Okay, you were so, making a, a, an astute I, I'm, I'm taking a while to make my point, but like they're, they're, they cut from what would be the first big fight to just the place exploding. Yes. And I'm like, even if this is just table setting, you want to give Dwayne Johnson a little bit of meat right at the beginning, maybe to just introduce your movie a little bit and <sighs> your main forbid. goddamn character. Well, that's the one thing that I would love to do or not actually ever watch this movie again. I'm one and done with this <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a one and done purist on it. Black Adam. A purist. But I would love to know, like, how much screen time does he have? Because it's probably not that much. Because it takes 20 minutes to get to him. 
And then you got all this Justice Society stuff that no one asked for. No one, no. Not a single fucking person on the planet asked for this to be in this the movie. The Justice Absolutely. Society, which is a subsidiary of the Justice League. and the da, 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 da. Well, that, You know what, Eric? Great point. What the? F- I mean, I know what the Justice Society is because I'm a loser. But mm. what is the Justice Society, <laughs> I, I would ask, if I watch this movie? Because I have no idea. And I also don't know, do they work for Amanda Waller? Is Amanda Waller just throwing them cases now and again? We, we like, are just, they are the, a subcontractor for Amanda Waller, yes. I think. It's so, Even having her is kind of stupid. We're just trying to set up that interconnected universe yeah, in the and, saddest way yeah, possible, yeah. Yes. dude. Like bringing in Viola Davis, like anybody gives a fucking Man, shit. She, she gives the least shit. Like yeah. they, I, she is delivering nothing in the movie. Here. In the movie, she's giving her nothing. You think she gives the, the the least shit of all? Because that goes to fucking Aldous Hodge, mm-hmm. my friend. There's no doubt. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. He I, had to wake she, up and like work out at least. She did that from her fucking beach house uh, in, <laughs> in between birthday parties. And, sure. and even then, she was just like, "So you're Teth, you're 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 Black Adam. I, you're the fifth guy I've had to talk to like this. I can't. I can't believe I signed that contract. God fucking damn." Oh, fuck. I was in Suicide Squad. Keep filming these fucking Zoom cameos, lady. Because she she is filming a lot of Zoom cameos. (laughs) But she also, it's like this thing where it's like, well, who do you have for the team? And he's like, well, I've got this one and that one. She's like, sounds great. See you at the end of the movie. Remember, I can kill you whatever I I will. I will pause it. Now, whatever you want. I mean. I lo- veggie pizza. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Like, so Cyclone sounds great. No. no d- yeah. Then to get two, I, I want a veggie pizza. You're very, you guys are forgetting who gives a shit the least mm. the audience. Well, yeah. <laughs> well they, sure. I mean, they are not participants in the production, though. Also, I mean, Dwayne Johnson, I also think is just not giving. Well, this. But here's my thing but with does Dwayne. he ever give a shit? Great question. I, I would I say yes, but he he does. But here's the thing. Show me them receipts. He is a guy who needs like the rest of the cast around him to be like elevated and also like excited about what's going on. I mean, because yes. listen, he is a wrestler. What do wrestlers feed on? Like live yeah. audience shit. You're putting him in these studios where it's just like green screens and whatever. There's nothing for him to like get electrified about. But if you watch him in like those Jumanji movies where like, like it or hate those movies, everyone in those movies is game to be in that movie yes, and it okay. elevates him as an yeah. actor. The, the same thing with the fucking other movie uh, they did with Coyette Sarah. Uh, Jungle uh, Cruise. Jungle Cruise. Uh, Emily, what's her face? She don't give a shit. They have no ca- chemistry oh, with each other whatsoever. <laughs> and again, he's just a big guy wearing a small hat in that movie and that's all he's I, doing. I, I say this hesitantly because no, God knows the man has done a lot. Uh, Paul Giamatti is debasing himself in that movie. Like in it, Jungle, Jungle Cru- Cruise. Yeah, oh, sure. Spell it out amazing. for the people who aren't watching yes. Jungle yeah, Cruise. Yeah, I'm going to say because uh, still have it, still have yeah, it. He, still plays like a, he plays like a big fat, like Colonel Sanders, <laughs> like steamboat guy or something. Okay. They, did him, they did him dirty in that He's one. Say it's me, Paul Giamatti. I got a big cigar and an even bigger beard. <laughs> I got bored with billions. Well, to your point about like he's he was a wrestler and that he needs that live live audience reaction. How about He's a wrestler in the movie. He's struck by lightning, <laughs> and now he can rip people in half. That'd be nice. That's sure. your DC movie. That's there's, sure. I mean, like, just there's a wrestler, right, Steve? Yeah. The, uh, the, in, the, in the lore, there's probably some guy that's like, I'm, you know. Well, there's a guy who's a, more of a boxer, Billy that'd be Wildcat. He's also another guy in the uh, the the Justice Society of America. If it, you want but to go is, that Bu- route. is Bucktooth Billy in it too? <laughs> I do yeah. not think. So. I said, Buck- the yeah, I stepped on your explanation. What was the guy? I was saying Bucktooth Billy would it's be a great a name. Buck-tooth, it's Buck-tooth. Wildcat. <laughs> Wild Ted cat. Grant the Wild. There you cat. go. Wow. Yeah. I'd rather watch a wrestler, you know, than whatever he's this oh, is. Oh, dude, he's, if, he's, if, he's, he's, he's a boxer. Yeah, that's yeah. like a wrestler that doesn't use his feet. <laughs> Sure. Yes. <laughs> or, or a chair or a guitar or I a just, ladder. Look, we're going to have you sitting down and hitting this person is what you're going to be doing. <laughs> Feet would, up. A boxer would actually be interesting. Black, yes. because the character Black Adam is just evil Shazam. That, that's how it was from the outset. That's what it was. Like, and the, you, that, that exists in all forms of superhero liter- literature. It's like, oh, you're, okay. there's a good version. That's the bad version. Sure. That's fine. 
and then like you know in the aughts uh certain writers jeff john specifically wanted to make him more of an anti-hero and like really expanded the character and the lore etc well, shouldn't he be just like a little kid then isn't that what shazam is shouldn't but he, he was like always a, a dude kid? for whatever reason oh, he's a okay. man There's okay a- now um yeah i was conf- this is very interesting to me because i was confused why the the Shazam wizards showed up. That's I guess this is, and they were saying Shazam, so I guess that's part of part yeah. of the clue. The way it was was this was like the, one of the first guys that ever had the Shazam stuff. But then, which is a more interesting thing, he got corrupted by his own power. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just like absolute us. power does something mm-hmm. absolutely. You know what sure. I mean? Like, let's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. let's do that, and then like absolutely. that gives him like some stakes, and then maybe like he's like, oh, I made a lot of mistakes back in the old days. I want to be this way now. That it's you know, blah blah blah. I want to save Kendak from these other people, and then leave it alone and leave the Justice Society out of it. If you want to get the devil in the third act, I'm not into it. But sure, dude, it looks stupid devil. as hell. It yes. looks like uh, what's his face, Tim Curry and Legend almost. Yes. But that's the cover the of action. Diablo, First the of fucking all. PC game, <laughs> essentially. He's, he's not the devil, right? He's just a, a he's guy. He's Sabak. He's Sabak. The, oh. the, there you see the see? crown guy. That's the crown from fella. Satan. Yes. Right? <laughs> He's a demon. He's a he's, Satan adjacent. Yes, he's, he is. He's a capo. I would say he's like a capo in yes, hell. Like, he's one of the big guys there. But, I mean, like, that's a story that's, like, I mean, it's, the funny thing is this movie's two hours long, and it. I'm not saying I, I want this movie to be any longer than it is, oh. but it almost needs to be because of all the shit you're shoving in it, because all the Justice Society stuff, like, I don't know who any of these characters are. I don't know what the Justice Society is. I don't know I, what well, function honestly, it forms. it feels... It feels so derivative, and I know this is just part of the comic book shit. Sure. That it's like, here's DC's Doctor Strange. Here's DC's uh, Ant-Man equivalent or whatever with this Atom Smasher. Mm -hmm. And it's just so boring to me to see the same exact idea rehashed. I don't know. It, and nobody is up to, and I, I I, would say, except for Pierce Brosnan, nobody is up to Dwayne Johnson's stature. No. Pierce Brosnan is clearly the he's better that actor. Tall. He's that tall? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, like, it, 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 like, to me, it doesn't work because, like, Noah Cilantro and uh, <laughs> um, uh, the person who plays uh, uh, Cyclone, yeah. uh, they, like, it, it's just not. It they're, doesn't they're come not, together. I no, don't care. Not, no. They ju- uh, and they seem separate from the rest of the movie almost until they have those group fight scenes. This this Quintessa movie- Swindell plays cycle. No, yes, okay. Quintessa Quintessa Swindell, who's actually they're very good in Master Gardener, good. which uh, is That's not the, yet the, out. The yet to be distributed Paul Schrader film. Good I, movie. Do, I do want to raise very my good. hand really quick and stop like fourteen tweets that uh, both Doctor Fate and. Uh, and Adam Smasher or the uh, the early Adam predate both the Marvel versions. But the problem is you have to live in the real world, friends. And everyone <laughs> yes. like Eric is going to watch this. We were like, well, why is DC just doing Dr. Fate well, again? Actually, Dr. Strange again. Right. That's I, that's the problem. The thing. But the one thing is I'll give it is like the Dr. Fate character was, I mean, maybe because it's Pierce Brosnan was yeah. the most interesting part oh, by, of the by, film. By well, a mile. And also, the helmet's cool. Sure. They, they also fast forwarded Dr. Fate to do the uh, uh, Infinity War scene yeah. in, in, like, in the first film. Because well, he's not going to do another. <laughs> yes, That's done. the thing. Is this movie, for whatever reason, this movie functions and carries itself as if there already was a Black Adam one mm-hmm. and a Just Society of America movie. Sure, sure. It already functions as that because we have no introductions to any of these characters other than the laziest garbage throwaway dialogue about some of their history including like adam smashers the nephew of the first one which is this dumb as dirty dick henry winkler cameo out of nowhere terrible this cyclone you know this character she's on the jet at one point like oh yeah well i got uh I don't know. I got some nanobots put into me. I got kidnapped. One. Yeah, I got a uh, Mexican food once. Had some nanobots in it. And uh, I got to tell you, that stuff sticks with you, those nanobots. <laughs> it's just too many fucking characters, especially since we know none of them, like you guys have just said. Just give us, I guess, Hawkman or Dr. Fader, one yes, of them, yes. and have them be like the department stretched thin. That would be actually <laughs> a way for, like, get the Amanda Waller or whatever cameo in earlier, say, like, oh, that's all we can do. And then, like, have be... that be like a buddy dynamic. Maybe. Yeah. The body, the buddy is what I would like. Yes. One and one. That yes. would be nice. Well, shouldn't there, because there should be shit where it's like, 
well, the Suicide Squad's wrapped up doing whatever, yes. and the Justice League cannot be bothered to go to the fucking They Middle disbanded, East. actually. Uh, Warner <laughs> Brothers pulled their funding. <laughs> they defunded the police, and, but that was the Justice League it's they just, defunded. But it, it's so nuts that you have... Because there are scenes later in the movie where it's like uh, Pierce Brosnan... And, uh, Dr. Fate and Hawkman talking about the old days and this adventure and that adventure. And I'm like, I just need to know. Because, I mean, the Just Society, as I know it, it was formed during World War II, which is a really interesting concept. Sure. Do all this shit with it. But you just don't do any of it. And it's just sort of like they're just generic super team. Why? So, yeah. during, all they are. so during World War II, were they fighting uh, Nazi superheroes or something? Yeah, they were. I mean, they were fighting about just a bunch hey. of it. Well, better movie, maybe. The Justice Society is like basically like Justice League before Justice League. Like, and then it caused all sorts of continuity problems because Superman was there. And they're like, well, in the 60s, when they relaunched everything, they're like, uh, well, Superman can't be in both. That's where Earth 2 started. It gets really complicated. Oh, man. <laughs> That's yeah. just, it's a lot. It it's was lot. so confusing for uh, uh, comic book readers, I'll call them. That it they created a separate Earth, <laughs> yes, to, to, to save you just, space. What? Well, oh no! Everything you like that was that you were reading Earth Two comics in the forties. But there is no. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be no continuity anymore, is there? I mean, I know they, they relaunch like the new Fifty Two or they whatever. They relaunch every five years now, and they 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 everything Swiss cheese. It's all yeah, exactly. That's but the, the weirdest part is that just these just these Justice Society characters still exist, and it's really hard. It's getting really hard to be like. Yeah, back when I fought Hitler, and I was like, "What a hundred years ago?" <laughs> that's like, what, you know what I mean. Like, like you got to update nice. those. Back when I fought Jimmy Carter, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, that's why so much of the stuff with like Doctor Fate and, and Hawkman talking about the old days. Yeah, Pierce Brosnan's like, "The first time I saw an airplane, it was a, I went outside and saw an RAF bomber fly yeah. over, and we were saying goodbye to those boys and blah blah blah." And then Hawkman is like. Blah, blah, blah. The old days working with you, Dr. Fate. And I was like, well, Aldous Hodge, do you not age? Like, does yes. Hawkman not age? Great. Qu hey, dude, great question. Well, yeah, I mean, like, you are I was asking to Steve directly because I know I've seen him with a Hawkman shirt on. Before, <laughs> but, like, I guess it's not canon. I, th th there's a lot of different Hawkman stuff. He ages regularly for the most part. Got yeah. It. Sorry, well, Chris. All these are supposed to assume, like, well, of course they have super strength. Well, yes. of course yes. they have super yes. healing. Well, of course they're kind of invincible or yeah. immortal or who gives a shit. But, like... That is not a. I I need more than the Con Air intro to these characters. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. Totally. The Con, give me, I mean, Con Air. I feel like gave me a better intro to well, these characters. Well, because the That's back, true. characters I'm more interested in than this fucking yeah, shit. Yeah. Wait. So how did he get those tattoos? Oh, weird. <laughs> Hope he, he doesn't get another how many one. Women? <laughs> yes, exactly. that, that's why they call him Adam Smasher. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah, boy. He's but in there smashing it. The only uh, function of the Justice Society, one of the many functions of the Justice Society movie, uh, in this movie is to just be like uh, to use a wrestling term for the rock be jobbers basically like they show up and get the shit kicked out of them mm. how many times do i need to watch hawkman get his shit shoved in by black adam in this movie six uh, seven uh, 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 in dwayne johnson's contract i believe four Got was it. the hard well, number and that he has to beat the other main character this is just the classic now i mean this is the this is how you design a tentpole blockbuster now is you're introducing, you know, Black uh, Adam and you have Hawkman and all these other characters. They have to initially fight each other because it gives us an action set piece earlier in the film. Yep. And then they can just apologize to each other and be friends and now team up and fight other stuff. It's just a shallow pursuit for an early set piece that is unearned. They botched it by trying to play catch up quickly. They didn't take the time. <laughs> you got to mash those tomatoes. Yes, <laughs> they got to do the whole fucking thing. I'm sorry. A but little like, vinegar? Don't add too much sugar. It's disgusting. Oh, throwing really? throwing, yeah. throwing the Justice League movie out there so quickly before you got any of the other stuff settled kind of fucked the whole thing. Like, oh, sure. Oh, it, yeah. Like, you never, you're never going to get back. And then it became the fucking, uh, uh, the, the structure of how they do everything. This I, is just what they do. I'm personally nervous about Aquaman 2, but anything else, like, if they're like, oh, James Gunn is firing Henry Cavill, they're restarting everything. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. Because everything is fucked. You, fu you have fucked it all up so many times. Aquaman is excellent. The first Wonder Woman is really good. James Gunn's The Suicide Squad is good. I don't know. What else? The Batman with Matt Reeves. The Batman, just, which is out, outside of it. Yes. Which is outside. If you really need a fucking universe, you got to perfect. Yes, yeah. exactly. Restart it. Why couldn't you just take Cavill yeah. and put him in his own universe? Because I will tell you right now, 
He is the best part of this movie, man. I, I, He's in the movie for 10 seconds in the, the, the back half of the stinger, and it's the best part. I, I have to say, the, there's one actor in this movie that really made me happy, and that is Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. He's yeah. the one that really, I, when I was like, I got to turn this off. It's too stupid. <laughs> I, I'm almost like having a panic attack about how stupid this and is. There's rumors about Cavill being really difficult to work with, saying some really inappropriate stuff. So, mm. and, and there's like a, oh, he like left The Witcher to do Superman. There's talk yeah. about he was actually fired. Oh, oh really? really? And but now he's fired off of Superman too. The diff- here's the thing. The ultimate failure of Zack Snyder and fucking this entire project is at the end of this fucking movie, Henry Cavill shows up and they don't play the Hans Zimmer score. They play the John Williams score. Why? Mm-hmm. Because that's the only way people know what fucking Superman right. is. You're because right. Because those movies are fucking failures. They're not yeah. as culturally relevant, uh, rel- relevant as you would think. And I'm sorry, everyone out there that's freaking out. But they also, I saw people were speaking of freaking out. They were freaking out because they were freaking out because they were freaking out. (laughs) Because (laughs) Cavill. Are you a soundboard? (laughs) I'm becoming one. It's about your merge. He's wearing a lighter colored costume. And people were angry he wasn't in the Uh, cool black ones. You know know what's rad, though? And it's, it's, well, it's sad. It's shred, okay? (laughs) They, I guess if you... if the trivia is to be believed, yes. they gave him the choice of suit, and he was like, I want to wear the suit from Man of Steel because that movie changed my career. And it kind of sounds That's in nice. the quote like he's basically saying, it was the last time I was professionally happy in my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sounds like that was, that movie. I had fun ma- being this character because it's never made sense to me afterwards, probably. Sure. You know what I mean? It's yeah. never made sense to anyone afterwards. I've been fighting mountains of shit in these <laughs> movies. Well, that's, I mean, dude, Henry Cavill, if you're not going to put him in Superman, which I think he is good in that role. Yeah. Him in Mission Impossible is so good. Yeah. Make him a villain or a side guy. Do it for just a little while. Yeah. I know he's handsome and you have to put handsome guys I, in the fucking lead. I but. would I would bet uh I'll put fifty bucks on the table for all you fuckers that he's gonna be in the MCU in, within five years. As, really? as, uh, as something, probably a villain. Steve, if you can have your dream casting, <laughs> would you make him be? Uh well, I mean <laughs> Go, no, please answer. Uh I mean let's see. The lamest thing I will answer is he could be a good gladiator, which is an X-Men villain that's basically Superman but an evil guy. That's okay. kind of a cool idea. Okay, yeah, but yeah. I mean it's that'd be something. But it's I don't know. Like I just We're find- the future gladiator, not them. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, just filling in the the handsome quota, he would be a good Cyclops, I think. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, he could be anything. No, wait. Who are we saying for Cyclops recently? And it made total sense to me. Well, Glenn the other Powell. one. I mean, Glenn he's Powell. Good. Yeah, yes, he's good too. Yeah, right. Just one. I wanted to get that back into the universe because yeah. I, uh-huh. that's some good energy, right? Cavill's too thick for that role. Maybe a saber tooth or something. Yeah, ooh, 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 that, yeah, oh, that, that, that sounds idea. good. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Little, my, little, dude, my dick just moved oh. a little bit. <laughs> ding a ling a ling. Eat some I, hair on that guy because they are still looking for a new Wolverine, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you get like a, you get a real short guy versus Henry Cavill as saber tooth. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. But so we get seven minutes of pure exposition nonsense. And then there's more because fucking here comes the Smashing Pumpkins and we're in modern day Kondak. And I guess this thing, in, I mean, the, politically, this movie would like to push buttons, but it won't. But like, yeah. so this Middle Eastern country is just thrown over by this play, this group of thugs Intergang. Called, called Intergang and no one gives a shit. Intergang. Yeah. So and they're there for question mark. Why question mark? But hey. They can be on the receiving end uh, from a bunch of lines that seem like they were written by Twitter. Like you <laughs> yeah. are guys are imperialist. Yeah, uh, sure. Neo imperialist is the one of the ones yes. the kid gets. I mean, the whole fucking thing. Like, so into gang, who sent you? Uh, we're into gang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, you're just like Eric Prince We're intergang Well we have to thank them at least for bringing us the English language What was our native one? <laughs> Intergang-ish you are, but, yeah, you are only getting You know whatever they're speaking In, in ancient contact Like yes. in subtitles but yes, and in, I was in 2022 if, contact, hey, we are just speaking total English. Hey, Intergang, what are you looking for? We look for Intergang. We are Intergang. <laughs> Worry not what Intergang wants. Intergang gets so what it wants. Are they there for the entertainmentium? Or yes. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I, I wish I, this movie I, found entertainmentium. <laughs> oh, dude, entertainmentium. Exactly. That is a thing where, like, if you... 
those like specialty offshoot comics where it's yeah. like this week Wolverine's out looking for the entertainment team <laughs> so he can bring it to the movie theater. I, what is this? I mean, we keep on following the Russo brothers into the darkness mm. and you're going to have like your people are going to be going and fucking killing whales and punching <laughs> holes through their brain to find entertainium <laughs> in their brains and suck it out. What is your uh, what, what, who are you against it? We are against anything that is not into gang because we are into gang and anyone who's not into gang is not into gang. We oh, really? Hate. Well, what's your favorite sexual position? <laughs> into gang bang, of course. <laughs> we are against the outer gang. <laughs> <laughs> they never talk to us and have done nothing to us, but their name means everything. See, they need to be developed more, and I know that would make the movie longer, but no. like maybe have an inner gang leader that has some agency that yes, works so here's with here's the thing there is one Sabak. i think it's this dude, it's this dude ishmael yes. who's yes. indeed the descendant of the king and he wants to get the crown for this turn into the sabak devil monster but the movie again we are screenwriters of the world i'm begging you the ones that are working now please understand the difference between a twist in your story and just like withholding valuable information well, that could make sense. Because if this guy, Ishmael, is the leader of Intergang, because he's the one that's the descendant and blah, 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 that they keep secret from you, that shit needs to be up front. So I know that this movie has a real villain what, in it. Good well, Intergang to you, Ishmael. Good Intergang. <laughs> and a good Intergang to you, sir. You are no longer Ishmael. You are Intergang. Uh, you uh, will not speak but exactly. <laughs> I, I kind of think I, maybe. I'm wrong. Somebody can check this. I, I think it's the same actor who plays Ishmael and King Octung. Yes, and the, yeah. the And so, like, I, I saw him, like, oh, so he's the bad guy. Yeah. Like, immediately, I was like, oh, that's the bad guy because it's the same exact fucking person. <laughs> and Intergang, by the way, is a concept that that's why Jack Kirby is thanked at the end of the movie. It's a concept of, it's kind of a cool concept, which is a, a group of thugs, like ra- ra- uh, ground level thugs that get apocalypse, i.e., dark side technology, and start using it to trying to take over the world. Cool idea. That's a real. Really cool yes. idea. And, and, and well, wait a second. seven seconds to say that. That could have been its own movie. That sounds like an interesting concept. And at no point did they bother working in that we have dealt with Dark Side in this universe, it, and that no. could have been there. It just ready to roll. It would be so easy to do that. It would give them agency. It would, it would make us stop making this bad intergang joke, which I now love. <laughs> and this is another like I don't want to give. Uh, too much credit to the new wave of television superhero shit like Marvel's putting yeah. out. But if this actually had 10 hours, yeah. and I, I could learn about Intergang. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Intergang. What did you see at the movies this weekend? Well, we saw Intergang. Did you now? In 3D, in Intergang 3D. Because at least then you are reliable to make that 40 minutes interesting and entertaining enough to continue. You find that entertainment to you. Exactly, but otherwise, you get this sprawling fucking mess and you just throw it out into the theater. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, it's it's not really even like to Steve, I think, was hinting at this or, or dancing around this. It's not even really Black Adam's movie. Nope. No. It's Addie, the uh professor revolutionary and her son. Who are terrible in uh, this movie. I'm sorry, really the bad. way they react to certain supernatural things going around like around around them. Around around them, I am a soundboard. Uh <laughs> They're just like, oh, it's the, well, honey, that's the, oh, d- come on, come along, son. That's just the, well, that's the legions of hell. No, I just, <laughs> that's the reaction. Now that's, that's not scared. I just, it's not, there's no emotion oh, in I, this movie. I summoned a seven, uh, six and a half foot fucking hulking behemoth that just tore people apart and shot them with lightning. You want to come to my house and hang out, dude? Yeah, Let's yeah. bring this guy to my apartment for some reason. Well, because they, uh, what do you, you, you meet Amon, who's the son, uh, like, Trick does some uh, funky shit at the Intergang uh, checkpoint. checkpoint. <laughs> the Interpoint. Uh, well, you are, you are down. Uh, excuse me, you don't have any Intergang points to get into the next <laughs> Intergang land. Oh, yeah. Well, you're a neo imperialist in. For sir. Yeah, take that. I'm skitching on the back of this van I, like Marty funny, I spent an hour on Twitter. I got those words they, from somewhere yes, else. They do this twice when the when the just. Justice Society I had to catch myself there you go. shows up. I, it, you know, they're like just defenders of capital in the name of global stability. So it's a similar 
thing there. They're both yes. ba- presented as bad. And, yeah. But that would be interesting, too, right? If they were like, hey, man, Intergang's been fucking butt-fucking this country for fucking 12 years. Yeah. Mm. Where have you been? All of a sudden, oh, now we have any kind of power, i.e. Black Adam, and now you're showing up. And they even, like, call him a weapon of mass destruction at one <laughs> point fucking. and get fucking yeah. get. Fucked. <laughs> there, there are things that there's a couple of times in this movie where they they dip their toe into the water to be like, you, you and your fucking weird superhero cadre don't care about poor people in the Middle East. Yes. Like that's what they're attempting yes, to do. Yes. And every time it's this Adriana character mostly brings it up. Sure. The fucking movie stops, and it reminds me of that great Troy McClure bit where it's like, let's ask a real scientist. And the guy goes, ah. And then they cut because it's yes. like, you don't give a shit about the Middle East except now that this superhero is here. Yeah. And Black, or, and, uh, and like Dr. Fate or, 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 or Hawkman just has to be like, ah. And then they don't address it. And Inner Gang's function here is actually... So that we don't have to see Black Adam actually take down yes. a, a a Middle East dictator of some sort, or maybe a royal family or something. No, totally. Someone that's actually making these people live in oppression. Instead, if intergang, who are mostly British people, I guess, yes. in this version, and they're subdividing the Middle East, which is something they've been known to do. So there's. Oh, yeah, shit. It's just it's a cop out in a way. Yes. Was Pri- when Prince Harry was over there, was he part of Intergang? Do I you think, think? I think he set it up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I went to a Halloween party as an Intergang officer. <laughs> I told you, I fucking told you, I'm Prince Intergang now. Okay, <laughs> that's my fucking name. Just say it. And then I took my mother's uh, chopstick and I put it on my willy. <laughs> Apparently in his book he's yes. talking about that. Yeah. My yeah. tallywhacker is into gang now. <laughs> and it's a cherry flavored tallywhacker. Uh, yes, I, I read my own book. Uh, chapter six, me and my dick. <laughs> now, my dick and me are good friends. We are <laughs> talk every day. Definitely better friends than me and my brother. You the gotta demon. listen, every day you gotta give that guy a handshake. Yes, just a Put little talk. There, pal. I don't know how that book got published with the cover where it just looks like the poster from The Martian. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. It just looks bit. like the poster yeah, from The bit. Martian. And Dude, I was like, didn't anybody well, say anything? We should he send him kind, to Mars. Yeah. He kind of feels like he's out on Mars all alone, yeah. is the well, thing. Canada, you know what? Though. Here's the thing, man. It is, it's super gratifying to not particularly have an opinion about those people. And uh-huh. I just want to say, let's well, just let them live their lives. All right. Who cares? And at the same time, them, them, stop writing books. Stop with your little documentaries and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Just go live but your life. Is, you know what? That's the thing is, there's something I don't, you know. There's something about shutting the fuck up. And, well, yes. <laughs> and, and, and and old royals used to do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, that would be great. Well, that's what else are they going to do? Here's the Just thing. go Live, quietly. Go, they yes. don't know how to do go that. whole hog and fucking take it down then. Sure. If that's, if, oh, yeah. If you're going to keep bitching about it, mm-hmm. take them down yes, from the inside. Absolutely. That'd be wonderful. Uh, this woman, is her, name, is her name Adriana? Did I miss that? Uh, Addie yeah. is what she's yeah. kept on a- being. A- Adriana Tomas and. Uh, her uncle, her brother, Kareem, and the, the other guy, Ismail, and some other guy are driving in a van because they realize that Intergang is about to get the crown. And if they get the crown, that's going to yes. be really bad. So Adriana just knows where it is because she's like a Tomb Raider type for four and minutes and 13 seconds. It's, it's a thing in this movie that they, the, it's like, it's so piss poor, but they allude to like her also being a descendant yes, of course of of black adam mm-hmm. so like again if cuz the other guy ishmael so knows he that he's like he can't fuck her so. <laughs> well that's yes, i mean thanks. andrew that's a lot. It, it's all about family you well see. i know but if ishmael knows his family lineage and he's using that like you know as motivation right. for this evil thing mm-hmm. her character should know this too cuz she's got the same necklace that you see uh, Black Adam or uh, Teth Adam's mm. wife wearing. Yeah, they will sell them at every gift shop down in Kandak. Uh, <laughs> no. By the way, by the way, objection, Your Honor. If I travel 5,000 years in the future, I, who knows how many descendants I might have? I should be able to fuck them. Uh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> really? I mean, just because well, it, it's a Genghis mixed Khan blood? thing. You know what I mean? Like, we're all related to Genghis Khan in some way or another. True. I don't we know. We could all be fucking our cousins right now. Exactly. We don't Eric would just go celibate if, that, if those were the rules around it. He'd be like, nope. Not risking it. Sorry. Well, I mean, I wouldn't fuck a lady that looked like me with a bow in her hair. I'm like, that, let's <laughs> let's do close. But it but was just. Would you? Would you? If it, there was definite biological proof that you were not related? 
Yeah, sure. You just said someone looks exactly <laughs> no, like no, no, no. <laughs> Why would but I here, subject myself what you're to saying that? Here, but <laughs> is put out this blood blue is beetle diluted. t-shirt, baby. <laughs> What are you saying over there? Sorry. That the blood is diluted to such a point yeah. that it's not going to result in... A crazy it's, uh, incest, you know. Incest babies. Yeah, I think and you're okay. What else, what else is there? Oh, internal damnation. <laughs> <laughs> Look, baby, it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes the kids are normal. <laughs> I like to roll the dice. I mean, you don't know. We could really be one of the lucky ones. By the way, this dude, Kareem, is played by uh, Muhammad Amer, who's on that Hulu show, Rami, which mm. is uh, pretty oh, funny. I've seen a little bit of it. He's That's trying his best in this movie, but the baby come back joke is like uh, nope. mothballs. Like, no nope. fucking And guess what? Balls. It was so good. They do it multiple times. There's so many moments of comedy in this movie that it's just, it's telegraphing. They're expecting the audience to erupt in applause yes. oh, and totally. laughter. There are so many fucking deadpan jokes for uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson, and I just, he doesn't got it. I'm sorry. Of the many talents he does have, the deadpan thing does not work. See, now this is interesting, though, right? You get him with someone who can match the energy. Him and Kevin Hart in that Central Intelligence movie. Kevin Hart brings out Dwayne Johnson's comedic muscles, pun intended, in an interesting right. way. That yeah. these dudes being like, so that happened. But he, but, don't yeah. work. he belongs in comedies. He should just get out of trying to be a serious action star. It doesn't work. He needs the Arnold Absolutely. track of like doing a bunch of, which he started out with, right? Because he was like um, the pacifier. The pass- Walking uh, tall. No, that was Vin Diesel. Oh, whichever. Uh, he did his own. Uh, 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 game tooth, plan. Tooth Fairy and Game Plan. That was Those the football one. Of yes. Of. So like that. Sh- and Gridiron Gang was another one. Mm. Well, one thing uh, in the de- in the very long development of this movie, which is, since like 2007, it was originally going to be a Shazam movie and they wanted which is a kind of a good idea uh Dwayne Johnson to be the embodiment of Shazam it's a kid and then like poof now you're oh, Dwayne and Johnson oh, okay. and he does the whatever that uh, it would be better it would because then Zachary it's a fu- Levi because yes. yeah. yeah. then you're doing like Shuck. Dwayne Johnson having to be like a little kid inside of a huge body that I can see here like the Black Adam I actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do a live reaction I want everyone to laugh at me what, what's this? <laughs> uh oh, here we go, folks. He's Steven. reaching into his bag. I will say, well, oh, Steve is this a Bud up, Dwyer? Oh, are we just going to see something right now? Yeah. Yeah, are you going to commit suicide on the air? Uh, I might. So, like, mm-hmm. I, I, I bought a comic book because okay. I was like, I haven't read anything for Black Adam. I should read it. I went sure. to the comic book store. And this is what it looks like. Nope. No. I, uh, and I was reading this on the. It's it's a big picture of Dwayne Johnson yeah, as but Black Adam. I saw Pierce Brosnan in there too. He's exactly. In the yeah. It's, wait, wait. So are they. Is this just a photo book? That's that's just a photo of him. No, no, it's, right? a, com- it's a it's a JSA comic that they just slapped because the movie's coming out. Okay, the, the promotional so material. So the art's on it. different. And I was reading this on the train this morning, and I would rather be reading hardcore pornography because people are just like <laughs> looking at me as a little goblin man, being like, "That guy <laughs> loves that Black Adam movie." Wait, so it's. Is it a Black Adam comic or is it a Justice Society comic? It's a Justice Society comic that's being rebranded as a Black Adam. Oh, oh that's even worse. But yeah. You can't even tell from the fucking. Of course not. Because nothing on that cover says Justice Society. No, nope, it says Black Adam slash JSA. That's where. Oh, it, sla- it, like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> but I, I'll, I'll, I'll disagree a little bit on. I think The Rock is a good action star, but he has to be in the Tom Cruise mold. Yes. Don't that the major issue here is you're putting him in another fran like. This just the the de- him in a comic book movie. It just feels wrong. I agree. He has to it's be. It's a little him. like oil and water. I think he's really, really uh, like com- not compelling, but like fun to watch in those fast movies. Yeah, and like skyscraper and those. I don't like those movies, but I sure as shit prefer those to most of this I, DC Marvel shit. He's running on fumes. Yes, this he is, is. This is a crossroads for him. Oh, I feel yeah. like, like because like stuff like skyscraper. I see what you're saying, but like. It still doesn't have the juice. It's not good. I be- wish he was better. I think the problem is he's too rich and out of touch now. He needs to like, I don't, he needs stop to stop living his life like a walking brand because yeah. that's yes, all he does. Everything is like the hustle and whatever. And it's all like built into his like public persona because like that's his whole story about like yeah. the whole fucking production company, Seven Bucks Productions. He fucking went out into the world with seven bucks in his wallet. That's sure. the whole thing. And like keep on the grind and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hey, man. Go away for a while and be selective. Like, like people will be here when you get start back. over. Fucking learn humility. Learn something to draw on for acting experiences give, because you can't right now. Give yeah. yourself over to a, a like a director who has a vision. Like sure. these are all movies that just are like this is going to make money. 
That this is also point. going to make money. Like, to- just go to someone who's big and be like, "Do what? Put me in a movie. I can get. You, I can secure you funding, no matter what the fuck, man." Here's an interesting thing. Or Steve, you were trying to get something. In no, right. but just basic. Uh, uh, you go, go, go where you're going. Well, I was, I was going to say, is this anything? Because Jalma started his career in horror. Yes. And Jalma and the Rock are yeah. just buds making all these unwatchable movies. Sure. What if Jalma goes back to horror and DJ goes into a horror movie? Could we do The Rock in a horror movie? What would he, that look like? He'd be a slasher. I mean, it'd be yeah. The Rock well, as a slasher. The pro- well, the problem with that is like what? Like every good slasher has a mask of some kind. Yeah. Like, I mean, part of you wouldn't even tell he's there. Yeah, he just, he's just point. Kane Hodder then. But, or if it's like, I mean, oh, I guess I, we'll kind of s- like that. that would, <laughs> that'd be good. Oh, dude, Kane Hodder biopic. Well, that wouldn't really work with Dwayne Johnson cast. That's it. But <laughs> but the problem, something. I don't know. His his performance in this movie is just like pissed. He's just yep. and like which and what I was reading in that Not comic, drunk, that, like pissed off. Yes, mm. which I was reading in that comic that is that embarrassed me to no end is like the Black Adam, and I, I remember this from other DC comics as well. Like he has this like regality and imperiousness to him like this real kind of like haughty fucking like how dare you even look at me kind of thing and Uh like that is something that's an interesting character trait to build on for a character you know what i mean like yeah but this is just sort of like i'm mad because my son died five thousand years ago or something it's just like i'm the rock and i'm here to sell you this yes yeah totally i'm literally surprised Black Adam does not take a sip of Dwayne Johnson's energy drink in this movie. <laughs> oh man, I bet you they said no to him on that one. They're yep. just like, Any- you know what? No, Dwayne, I can't. We can't be doing this. I will say <laughs> we are getting to a moment. I, I was almost enjoying myself mm-hmm. when we get. Uh, uh, Addy gets uh, uh, ran, ransacked by uh, all these. It's the gang. Uh, the, the Eric Prince ites, uh, and they uh, are about to murder her. And she says the whatever the uh, inscription uh, inscription it's, says. It's a clever line for the screenplay, I think, because this anti-gang soldier comes up and is like, w- you know, anything to see, you know, any last, last words, words or whatever. Yeah. And she goes, tell my son. And then starts saying the spell, which yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah. And then she says Shazam, I think, is the last is one. The end of the, and kapoof. Yeah. Here comes uh, Black Adam. He's got a hood on. I guess I it was cold say, in hell. I, 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 li- I like the cloak. I, I like the yeah, hooded sure. thing. And I honestly, at first, I thought there were some cool action moments here because I liked the way he moved. His, yeah. yeah. His body moved in this sequence. Yeah. But then you get the fucking painted black, dude. Oh, but no, then- that's the thing is. You start like the first. He gets one guy, and he yeah. like actually kill. Like yes, electric- you see oh, a shit long out. time. Yeah. It a skeleton. It's yeah, a, it's a good kill. It's a good kill. Total disintegration. And seeing all these guys get killed, and like, uh, we're not getting killed. Like, yeah, not, full on. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're not like playing around with that. Full on Murderville. Yeah. And I was so into this, and then I'm like, oh man, yeah, yeah. Paint it black, black, uh, black. I'm like, you're. What? This is what it hate. I hate I'm like, music. What? I hate it. You have enough this. here. You yes. have enough here. Why are you trying yeah. to jazz me? And then he's slowing down time. Uh, music is blaring, and what? he's slowly killing people. If Zack Snyder didn't completely ruin coolish looking slow mo, yeah, by putting it in every single movie he's ever made, right? This sequence, I guarantee you, would come off a little cooler to us. But it's just, it's a thing that you've seen it's, a thousand times. And putting yep. it to paint it black, I mean, it, I'm sorry. It's Days of Future Past with uh, Evan, what's his face? Uh, oh, yeah. as Quick Time Silver. in a Bottle. Yeah, Time in a Bottle. Like, it's, I've seen this so many times, especially with the pop song. I also love, like, it is the old Superman joke of, like, you shoot, you, you know, in the old Superman show, they would shoot him five times and then throw the gun at him. Like, if you've got these Eternium rockets, like you, the regular rockets aren't working. Yep, it's mm-hmm. kind of like if you were fighting Superman yes. and you had a bunch of kryptonite rockets. Right. You're like, no, 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 no. We need to go through all five thousand bullets that we have well, here. Well, we bought them. I mean, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Just sit on these rockets? We need to fucking so fire them somewhere. They do sh- shoot that whatever t- entertainment t- rocket, <laughs> entertainment team rocket, yes. and it actually does hurt him. Yes. And then that's the last we kind <laughs> it's of hear literally, of it. it there's it's there's incredible. the one part where he he gets his hand hurt because he he punches through the hutch 
and accidentally touches the crown, which right. is made of the same stuff. And he's like, ooh, 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 what? How, ooh, 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 how, I pricked my finger. How does this not come up in the fucking climax? It's just because this movie is probably written 16 different times over a period of a decade, and they forgot about that part. Yeah. I, like, yep. I, I just, yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> I mean, they there's, I mean, we will get to that fucking, the, the, the uh, uh, entertainium shield yeah, thing. Sure. That scene makes no, no sense nope. whatsoever. The shield over the temple? The, the, the circular what? shield that they're in when they make the exchange. Oh, yes, that's dumb. That it does whole make scene, no sense. You're right. We're going to get, I, I was like yelling. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing in my own home to nobody? Can I just say the last thing about the music? Because you're right. I mean, you do want to give up on music watching this movie. Mm -hmm. But when you have a movie that starts out at 2600 BC, yeah. and then you want to set it in the present day, <sighs> Don't have your needle drop be a song that's thirty years old. Yeah. Mm, okay. Right. One, don't do that. That's what butterfly with a uh, bullet with butterfly wings but gets us. They're, they're illustrating that it's present day because Intergang has <laughs> sure. motorcycle drone thing, and that's fine. But then you they're get, listening to classic rock radio. Yeah. But, they, but <laughs> yeah, right. They got it on the fucking oldies station because that. And but then also with the stones, it's just like the pumpkins into the stones. You yeah. no. No, yeah. no Let, intelligible music curation whatsoever. No, it's no, just no. some kid picking all the hits from dad's barbecue yeah. <laughs> and got paid for it. And wow, that's infuriating. Well, hey, uh, Black, Black Adam, you know that Painted Black's about like a Vietnam veteran. Uh, what? Veteran? <laughs> what? What's going on? It's not about painting? I thought we're just painting <laughs> stuff. Here's the thing. When thought it sounded cool. When Dark Sided Desaad created the Intergang motorcycles, he put Sirius XM, but the problem is, the thing is, it only it's only on lithium at oh, all times. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes. Stuck on stuck on channel 34, are you? <laughs> That's unfortunate. We're, we're oh, also cool. getting Baby Come Back. Oh, boy. Well, oh, yeah, and I'm then not players... paying extra for all of the Howard Stern <laughs> channels. Why would you need local sports coverage? You don't even know what basketball is. <laughs> Take it or leave it, Intergang. Take it or leave it. No, I'm not paying for the add-on that you can use the app outside the car. It's for <laughs> your motorbikes, and that's it. He's, is Baba Booey still on? <laughs> oh, Maybe well, well, I'll right. reconsider. If Gary Delabate is still on Scaff, yes, you may have the out-of-the-car app add-on. <laughs> Can I get the old stuff where he was super sexist? I mean, he's always just light sexist, but like the really bad stuff, the toxic stuff. Can I get that stuff? Play all the golden oldies before Stern was visited by three ghosts in the night. Is the girl who's riding the Sibian and this channel. Man, I would rather be watching Private Parts. Absolutely. Oh, hell yeah. Good Private movie. Parts is awesome. Yeah, Very it's good, a good movie. It's a good one. Um... So he dispatches all these people. He gets hit by a turnium, and then he like passes out. This is when we introduce the Justice Society because it's almost, almost a Black Adam movie for five minutes. Yeah. No, 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 no. We get all the Justice Society in there. Yep. Yeah, we get fucking a Henry Winkler cameo, Ugh. which is not great. I, I I love Henry Winkler. I'm glad he's having having a moment. But like, I well, what if you're not bring him you, back? Bring him, all he says is do what Carter tells you. Carter being uh, Hawkman. Hawkman, sure. Yeah, but it's like so then. Was he oh, again? Is Wait, Hawkman seventy years old? Or I what? didn't even put it together. But you're totally yeah, yeah. right. Yes, Here's yeah. another fucking eighty year old man telling him to listen to Hawkman. <laughs> Dude, the, the original. You know what? The Justice Society should there should be a picture of of it, like uh, you know, like a Watchmen, and it's the entire Happy Days crew as mm -hmm. as the Justice Society. You got Ralph Malf in there. You got Richie Cunningham. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Ralph Malf as Doctor Midnight. Uh, Richie Cunningham as Starman. I can go on all day. You want oh, Patsy as Blue Beetle? Yeah, that, there you go. Well, go Ron on. Howard. Howard makes a, a FaceTime call to Cyclone. <laughs> no, Listen, no. niece. Steve, could you please keep going? I'd rather not talk about the film. <laughs> um, and I, are we in the... Is this Hawkman's mansion? Or Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. Pierce Brosnan is commuting to Hawkman's mansion. Oh, Hawkman, uh, Pierce Brosnan's first line in this movie is fucking fantastic. He's in a car. He's falling asleep. Because uh, he's watching, he's been watching Black Adam, <laughs> and then like his butler awakes him, awakens him. He's like, and he's like, "We're here, sir." And he goes, "Oh, great!" And I'm yeah. like, "I know what you're talking about." Dude. There's a couple of other times, and I hope I can find them in my notes. But there are there are lines of dialogue that he utters in this movie where I'm sorry, Chris, I have to I have to push back on it. He don't give a shit either. No, I, I, it's but he's got regal, he's got presence. Oh yeah, he, of course. Yes, he can he, he can cover it up with the presence mm -hmm. and you know the the British fucking force field around him. 
Totally. I, I think the only person here who is trying, and I really, I feel sad for him, is Noah Cilantro. Yeah. I think he's really just having. Who's that? He's the, the uh, Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher. Is he trying? I think, I, I think he, he is. is. No, I think he is. Because I think th- this is a big deal for him. He's yeah. a big movie. The Rock's in it. And I'll point out, he's in all of those to the boys that I love before movies sure. on Netflix. It would be weird if we watched those, so we're not aware that he's in them, but. I did look it up on yes. IMDb. I know that those movies are. I big. think he's also on the Fosters, which was like a, a yes. TV show as the well. What? Uh, the show it's Australian about- for beer. <laughs> 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 well it's intergang for beer. <laughs> <laughs> Two liters of intergang for my intergang friends. Intergang. It's intergang for intergang. <laughs> intergang has intergang movie night where we watch to all the intergang I love. And next week, romantic classic. Into Blanca. P.S. Intergang. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, I'm very excited about this new Martin McDonough movie, The Banshees of Intergang. <laughs> Man, while watching their gang, I wanted to cut my fucking fingers off. <laughs> Throw them at a donkey. I, if you say Intergang one more time, I'm taking my fingers <laughs> off. I ain't going to be doing no more fiddling because you can't stop saying Intergang. That is the listening audience right now. <laughs> Oh, yes, and we will get together on Sundays to watch the last of Intergang. (laughs) We love Bella Ramsey. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Oh, you got Disney Plus for the (laughs) Intergangian? It's like a Western, but he's an Intergang. He even has an Intergang bike. Perfect. (laughs) But so, like, whatever. This uh, this movie has seen some X Men movies, man, because that fucking the Hawkman plane yep. yeah. comes up from the fucking basketball court exactly like those X Men movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insane. And fuck you, dude. It's insane. And so was there? I mean, because like, I I don't know literally anything about Hawkman other than like why well, you just watched a whole fucking movie about him. <laughs> yeah, but it's Aldous Hodge, yeah. and I got some theories about his performance sure. that we'll get to. But uh, nah. well, here's my thing about Aldous Hodge because I can't remember the other thing I was saying. <laughs> but uh, this dude who I've liked in other things, I think he's really incredible in uh, One Night in Miami. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, uh, you know, he was on way, way back. He was on Friday Night Lights. You know, that's what I remember mostly. Real from. good actor. He's awful in this. Yeah. It's so it's not it's beyond low energy. And my theories are he either. Did not care for working with Dwayne Johnson, who he shares a lot of scenes with solo, like one on one. That seems here. to happen a lot, if mm, I sure. Uh, Take or fifty eight. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking guy. Or I'm sorry, I slipped in my tequila brand in that take. <laughs> he he um, <laughs> or he got a look at himself in this Hawkman costume, yeah. and was instantly embarrassed, and was just like, "Oh fuck, yeah. oh fuck." Well, that's the thing is that any young actor or up and coming actor, yeah. Oh, you're in one in Miami, huh? Playing Jim Brown, pretty exciting role. Yep. You're gonna be fucking Hawkman next. And again, I'm sitting here in an X Men T-shirt, being <laughs> the world's biggest loser, reading fucking Black Adam on the train. Mm-hmm. But there needs to be better fucking opportunities for actors, folks. There really there, needs yeah. to be. Yeah, yep. I mean, the, 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 this whole thing that we're, we're talking about, how they're uh, working like very X Men like, like yeah, at the time a uh, bottle, like it does feel like a collection of the big scenes from the. Other other movies but the actual like dialogue the relations all that stuff is cwdc level and it feels very much like that because like as good as aldous hodge and pierce brosnan and everybody else is in other projects like this just like nobody can bring the presence that like Dwayne and uh pierce have like they just can't like i i I feel sorry because like they're working actors and they should be given they should be given opportunities like this even to have some fun but it doesn't even seem like they're having fun that's the thing dude is like how are you not and again i can't speak to the production conditions or whatever but like how are you not a pig and shit making a movie like like you're in a dwayne johnson movie you're playing hawkman it wound up being not for nothing the fucking series is canceled but it was DJ's biggest fucking domestic weekend opening yeah. when it opened. Like, yeah. it was a successful movie. And, like, the fact that everyone is here and it feels like there are guns to their heads. Like, yes. you're getting paid to fly around and be ridiculous, man. Let's wake up a little bit. Have I, some fun with it. I uh, They get there. We, we cut back to, uh, what do you call it there? Black Adam, he wakes up in Iman's room. And the 
I mean, like, you might as well have comic books of Osama bin Laden with the yeah. with the Justice League <laughs> would be has better. done to this fucking planet. Yep. The the cities they have leveled beneath their boot. You're like, oh man, I love Superman. I love Wonder Woman. I don't fucking think so. And I'm like in in world, like in the CU, mm-hmm. buying comics of these people. Yeah. And this is those something- are newspapers in world. I think. <laughs> It's like Men in Black reading the National (laughs) Enquirer. That's the newspaper. But it's... Oh, go ahead. I mean, like, and we get more... When the fight scene happens, when we see the Justice Society ruining this fucking... uh, 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 Conduct? Conduct, Conduct, Including all of their fucking... You know, millennia old statues and whatnot, they, just knocking right, them they down. They destroy more artifacts than ISIS did. <laughs> exactly. their, their response, Are they going to read these comic books? Yeah. Their response is Urkel, did I do that? Yeah, yes. totally. Just, no, oh, sorry, Adam Smasher made a poopy. <laughs> well, it's okay because it's not, you know, Western culture. <laughs> Oops, ah. I stepped on something that was older than written history. Sorry. <laughs> Getting used to the new suit. It's a loader. I mean, it's that's Sorry about All right. your culture. Look, oh. I'm writing I, I, IOUs here. That's eight statues I owe you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like the fifth build person can't be the little stinker. You he gotta, can't. No, no, yeah. That no. has to be a bigger role. Also, the movie already has a little stinker. It's a disgusting shit boy named Amon. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Let Adam Smash just be a grown adult. This is when this, this is when sucks. And I'm gonna start because it's it it was in uh, we talked about it a lot last week, which is still available, by the way. Our uh Thor the uh Thor Love and Thunder mm. uh uh, live show, that's uh, right. Live streaming show. Go to whmpodcast.com slash store to get that ticket. But if I hear one more reference to a, I'm a superhero, I guess I need a catchphrase oh, oh. in a, in one of these fucking oh, ill-begotten yeah, yep. superhero movies. I will take my own Can, life. Is I'm this, serious. Is, <laughs> I know this is not the end, but this in a in a natural organic film culture world, I feel like we'd be at the tipping point. And yes. the crest of the wave of the superhero genre, but I know they're going to be manufactured for the next thousand I, years somehow. We're going to keep making them, but it does seem like they're taking a hit recently. Like yeah. this latest phase has really been fucking up Marvel. Everything that DC, I mean, other than Batman, I the everything like D, the DCU. I mean, I understand why they brought James Gunn in because it's a fucking catastrophe. It is. Yeah. Like, you know what, it's James gonna, Gunn? That's a motherfucker that can carry the soundtrack. By the way, oh yes, yeah. that's that's put that out there. That's true. I mean, that's what he's known for at I this mean, point. He's yeah. the most talent. Pro- you know, it, it, well, not like counting. Uh, Matt Reeves is Batman. Yeah, sure, he's probably the most talented. Like out of that pool here, and I mean. James Peace, Wan. Peacemaker was good. The Suicide Squad was, was good. Yeah, so. yeah. And so the, both those Guardian movies, we'll see what the third one has. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, it's one of those things where, like, it's there are still people in this world waking up. I saw this the other day. It was like there was a slate of the new DC movies or whatever. It was like, just give Zack Snyder four more years and then you could do whatever you want. I'm like, you want. Like you want the Warner Brothers Corporation to give this guy what another billion dollars to prove this <laughs> point? Four more years? What are they gonna send him to college? I just, Maybe like, he should fucking study film there. Like he needs three more releases. It's the new Justice League movie. It's the fucking Deathstroke movie he wanted to do. <sighs> and if you just give him one billion dollars, I'll leave you alone. It's like, what are we talking about? Is he like coming to your house and giving you Christmas presents? Like <laughs> I don't understand. I think it's because it's like when these movies premiered, uh, like a lot of people were 12 years old yeah. or whatever, so they glommed on to that. And, the th- you know, when you're a young adolescent boy, like, the dark is cool! Yeah. yeah that yeah. type of shit, you, it crystallizes your mind. Little crystals of madness form, to quote <laughs> yeah, Alec sure. Guinness when he talked about Star Wars fandom. Oh, well, I love um, that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. It, it's true. It's a true thing. You get too obsessed over or something you become a fucking weird asshole and also stuff with dc a lot of those fans seem to be dc fans solely to be making fun of mcu show. yes exactly uh and, and like but you know fine it's it, ken watanabe let them fight we need because <laughs> uh, everyone but, needs a team right yes, yes. Yeah. all forms of col- politics is now sports culture war garbage is now sports and for some reason because i don't know maybe one of the mcu characters was a lady that is now the woke yes, side of yes. things and now this is the 
quote unquote unwoke side of things, which is it? Guess what? Yeah. Pepsi and Coke will both fucking are both bad for you. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Like you can say like <laughs> Coke sucks because I love Pepsi. Pepsi sucks because I love Coke. Yeah. It's still not like you should probably still be drinking a lot of water. Like you can still drink yeah, yeah. Pepsi and Coke yeah. for sure. I as or diet and otherwise. But you should probably have water. You should probably get some juice in there. <laughs> Coffee now and then. Coffee would be fine. You know, like diversify your diet. Exactly. Absolutely. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, so just, you know, the it's always weird in these movies where it's like the hero is like rooming with the family for a while because yeah. part of it always gives the vibe of like, well, now there's like a new dog in the house. <laughs> yes. You know what yes. I mean? And this kid's just like, well, you got a suit. Uh, you got a cape. You got powers. You don't piss on the floor anymore. <laughs> um, now all you need is a cat. It's just like, I, I, just... I, how have we not learned that sidling or siding a a hero or whatever with a kid is just so one it's played, but also like it was never interesting. No. And, and you if, know what I mean? But if you do it, you have to do it. Yeah. That yeah. has Thank to you. be the movie. Amon disappears for large swats, thankfully, because yep. then the Justice Society shows up. I mean, like, yeah, and he starts walking through these walls like a fucking asshole. Right. Dude, yeah. <laughs> After he lightnings the bed. And- yes. Yeah. I mean, Black Adam is bursting through these walls like the Kool Aid Man, and at one point, I think it's it's, it's Pierce Brosnan. One of them is like, "Didn't they have doors when you fucking yeah. lived?" You know, and he's like, "Yes, we walked through them." And I'm like, "All right, well, now you're being a jerk." Yeah, like that's the that's the joke that you put in the screenplay, but it still doesn't make sense why he's Kool Aiding all through this. I was almost mad when that happened because I'd written that joke earlier in my notes and then they <laughs> did it in the movie, and I'm like, "All right." Also, Amon is kind of like Wallace of Wallace and Gromit. He has an exit system yeah. that he built to get himself out of his, like, it's a fake drawer that you pull up. Like, who built this? Like, is this kid just a super, is he Tony Stark? Is well, he a- sh- I think his mother also has got, like, some stuff going on because she puts the crown, which kind of hurt my feelings. Like, oh, cool, pretty cool DVD player. It's like, oh, no, that's just for sure. <laughs> we, uh, we just use that to store stuff. I think they're, yes. because they're part of the resistance, etc. cetera. Uh, sure, but, like, it's like a man, it's a man-made laundry chute in your apartment yep. through your building. Yes. Yeah. Like, I, this just struck me as, like, if we're going to build this guy, this kid, as, like, a super genius, go all the way. Yeah. But it just seems to be this, and then he's like, I like Batman. <laughs> yeah, so Are you like Batman? The, the room full of superhero memorabilia uh, now on sale, by uh, the way. It's all stuff that you could totally... You could have Amon's room tonight if you wanted but it. This but movie, <laughs> this movie is doing something that I think they thought was way cool, and it's lame as shit, which is, like, we're giving the finger to the rest of those guys because there's a part where they're fucking around in this apartment Mm. and Hawkman comes in and this is like the second or third time Hawkman and Black Adam are doing battle and they just are fighting in this poor family's apartment and they get in the kid's room and there's all these close-ups of like them fighting and like Batman pictures getting torn yeah. down and yeah. super. There's a part Ooh. where there's a Superman poster and Black Adam punches through the door and he punches through Superman's face. <laughs> That's and it's pretty like, cool. Yeah. Fuck all these pussies. Here's the new badass yeah. hierarchy shift. Yeah. This ain't your grip. Mm. This ain't your older brother's DC movie. <laughs> but when you say, because like they, the Justice Society f- comes upon Black Adam, they fight him. They lose spectacularly, and they do it two more times in, like, seven oh, minutes. For no reason. This could have been screen time we used to develop inner gang at all. Yes. This could be maybe, you know, that initial fight with a villain of any kind yep. instead well, of just seeing all the cool powers of these superheroes. <laughs> Cyclone, they fly around in a circle. Yes. There's fucking rainbows coming out of uh, the, their butt, and it's like, okay, I don't, <laughs> what is this? I don't even know what's going on. Adam oh, uh, nanobots, dude. Nanobots. It's now okay, well, wonderful. <laughs> and then the, Adam Smasher becomes Ant Man, and he turns big, and he sma- You know, he punches down, mm-hmm. and then, and then I, 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 I'm praying for death, guys. I really. <laughs> this is uh, this is probably one of the w- worst moods I've been in. Well, I'll tell you what, Eric. What what was genius about not making Intergang a real villain is 
Dwayne Johnson is both hero and villain of this movie. Oh, you see, yeah. because like every other one of these goddamn movies, it's like, <laughs> actually, the the villain has a reason for being bad, too. Yeah. It's, can't we all be so understanding? Dude, it's like when they made that newest Home Alone movie with Ellie Kemper oh, yeah. and uh, Rob What's-His-Face Delaney, oh. and it was like, Oh no, they're not bad people. They just uh. got poor around the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like you know, all this shit happens. Uh, at some point, Ismail shows up, shoots the other guy in the stomach, and I'm like, "Hey, cool, that guy's dead." Oh, the uncle, yeah, the uncle yeah. in the stomach. But later, he's just totally fine. And they, he kidnaps an a- Amon in like the big sequence. And now we're looking to find. Uh, th- th- there's several intergang bikes going at th- several different uh, areas. Also, how large is Kandahar cause, or Kandak? Because I just feel like it shouldn't be that large when these bikes are going for a long time, like yeah. a thousand miles an hour. Like well, they'd be in Chicago. Well, like, eventually, we crash land in China. In one yes, of these okay. yes. That's so right. it's okay. like they went that far at least. And the only way you really notice, you know, is like if you have the subtitles on, it confirms that those people are speaking Mandarin. So yeah. it's like. Because okay. they crash land in like a farm, yeah, and it's like two farmers like standing there and they speak to each other, and it just the subtitles are like speaks in Mandarin. And I was yeah. like, all right, so I guess, I guess they flew somewhere in I, China. I could tell I, from the, the mountains; they're probably near Guilin. <laughs> I'm serious. That's true. Yeah. Maybe yeah. It might be. you're the you're only one in this room that's been to China. That's yeah. true. I take your word for it. I mean, it's it's very much. Uh, um, it's the Middle East. <laughs> Sure. It, just whatever t- t- you got a city in the Middle East, that's what it is. <laughs> it's about that size and uh, probably has a name like that. Uh, you know, it can't that sounds like it. See, kinda. that's the thing is, if we took the I know, like I'm sorry, but like if we took the time for intergang yeah. or whatever, just like sh- always make the time for <laughs> intergang. But walk a mile in those shoes before yes. you tell me they're bad. I want to see what of the course. actual world I is. I need an Andy Circus leader of some kind. Sure. Maybe. Yeah, you need a number two f- again because Ishmael is the main baddie sure. in the end. He's sort of playing at, like the initial heavy and the end bad guy. Make 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 two others. I mean, we're just this is just a Superman kind of knockoff type of thing. Oh right? yeah, totally. And there's the entertainment that hurts him. <laughs> yep. You need kind of need a Lex Luthor or someone like that as the inner gang leader that has these. Maybe he's the guy with the entertainment bullets, and we, that's we yeah. don't. That's yeah, something. Yeah. something. If if we made if we made Superman 1978 now, there'd be fucking 14 cameos in it. You know what oh, I mean? You can't. Yes, you're yes. not just gonna put Gene fucking Hackman in there and say, "Go to work, dude." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we don't do that anymore. We don't have actors for that. We don't, or we do. We just don't care to do it, or they don't care to be in the movies. Or the script is so bad. Whatever the reason is, no, it's more is more is more is more. No, there's a, we're gonna have Cyclone in here. We're gonna have Adam Smasher. We're gonna have Amanda Waller. All, it's gonna do be you, so exciting. Yeah. Do you wonder if part of you just inspired an interesting thought because you were saying like there's these good actors that maybe don't want to do these movies. Uh, what, uh, there's no maybe about that, but you know they don't want to do these movies for whatever reason. I wonder if one of those reasons, and now now because I'm thinking about Gene Hackman being in Superman '78, mm. like part of it has to be the way in which they make these movies, right? Oh, yeah. Like you you talk to some people and it's like. No, I don't want to stand in front of a screen and talk to a person with a bunch of dots on yeah, their face. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, like, you don't want a 15-picture holding agreement. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. totally. You, you, you want to be uh, Lex Luthor? Awesome. Here's Sign away the next 12 years of your life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Which and, I'm sure they had sequel stipulations in place for Hackman and all those guys sure. in 78, but like, at least then it was like you're making a movie where you you can see the set. Mm-hmm. Someone had to yes. build the set. Exactly. Yeah. You know, can you imagine, like, well, it's maybe in part two, when is it when he's got the like flooded train station hideout and they're swimming? That's in the first one. Is it in the first yeah. one? I couldn't remember. But like, can you imagine a film production building that set today? No, no they would never do There's it. like two directors that would demand that that happen. I, you know I'm, what I mean? I'm thing. dreaming of that and crying tears <laughs> of joy. If that actually happened, I'd be so. I want the underground. Look, I'm crying because I'm picturing Gene Hackman swimming. Well, yeah, and that would also. Look at Richard Donner. They had actual directors back then. Yep. Actual directors. Sorry for the, the fan base for this director. <laughs> Colette Sarah. I, I mean, know. I want what you're smoking. I mean, the thing <laughs> is with them is like, I can't blame. I, I don't cl- uh, blame Chloe Zhao for what happened with Eternals, really. No. Because the system, it, it's they, it, the, the editing is not in their control. Yep. The action scenes aren't in their control. It's pre vis. Everything is pre. Everything is like all they make is like the most tiny fucking decisions. 
Which, about like generally putting this thing which, together. Because right. that's the thing is like I mean like and at the end of this movie with the Superman thing and all the little uh, Easter eggs to get you to get to the next movie. You know what's a great way to get me to get to the next movie? Make a good first one. Yes, totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's like really yep. put all our chips in the basket no, no, and no, be no, like, no, let's no. really make a good movie here. But Steve, what if I divide all my attention planning <laughs> all these other sequels? And then they're all going to be shit together. Well, Steve, don't you remember all those great scenes in Batman 89 where like the, the, you just like hear Oswald Cobblepot? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> just just born. Uh, the baby that got lost. Uh, oh, no. What are we going to do? And then like at the very end, you heard that <laughs> at the very end. Ooh, well, I got a rose from somebody. It looks like it might have been Poison Ivy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Stay tuned to two movies for that. And you know what's funny is the Nolan movies do do that, but they're handled better they well, are handled better quieter. but I mean, you can't yes you the, can't entirely let them off the hook though i no, mean that begins ending with that fucking playing card which you absolutely that's did. pre sam jackson coming out in uh iron yeah, man yeah but and you absolutely did not need to do that no of course not i well, would you just said the jokers the when i see the the trailer i'm like oh the jokers in that one i'm gonna go see it yes i think chris nolan though is where everybody got the idea to take directors with clout Sure. And then put them on these things. And where Chris Nolan, uh, of course, just like survived it because he's great. But like. But he was early enough that he could define the style exactly. and actually do what he wanted to do. The system hadn't been set up yet. Exactly. Now, you know, you have Marvel doing like the pre visualizations where these directors literally aren't directing the action sequences whatsoever. It's predetermined by producers in a computer. So then you really do need directors that are very good with actors. And Chloe Zhao was fine could have been better but yeah but that it's it is not necessarily all her fault yeah yeah and then then you have all these other movies like you get the guy here who directed the commuter and it's just like what what exactly is being brought to the table because now if everything's done by computers and it's all visual effects what are you doing here because you're not in, directing the actors sufficiently in this instance what he's doing there is being buds with Dwayne Johnson exactly yeah. which hey it's good work if you can get it <laughs> oh, yeah. you know my favorite part of this movie and it's right around here uh Dr. Fate in this bathrobe oh, oh yeah. yeah so like we're on this not X wing I guess we'll call it the hawk wing yeah sure and uh they've re they've retrieved this crown and they're analyzing it with a bunch of goofy computer tech which you don't really know where hawkman got it but it's like i guess hawkman's just rich yeah the idea all right sure yeah but like pierce brosnan just comes out and it's like hawkman is like you know just flying the jet or whatever and being all like you know in his head or what whatever's going on and pierce brosnan just swings over this door and he's just got this silk bathrobe on like hello everyone oh oh what are you doing there hawkman you seem a little upset are you it looks good it, it looks, looks I really mean, good i mean the the beard on this guy i mean yeah. he looks like a million bucks i do i will i will praise this movie for one thing especially a lot of i think the costumes are actually really good i think like the yeah i think the black adam costume is good the adam smasher costume is good the dr fate costume looks really they, good. they look really good they, yeah. they really they really thought about that part of this it which is, is actually reminded me of that well. that scene towards uh you know in ed wood where they're waiting for the reviews to come back <laughs> and they're like they the, the costumes are very realistic <laughs> <laughs> that's like the nicest thing you could say about it, i mean it kind of is i was like yeah. the costumes look good whoever did the costumes did a good job uh yeah they, they realized that Amon has been kidnapped and he's at the inter this is like the most confusing part of the goddamn movie. Intergang has Intergang has Amon in their hideout, Ismail has in in their uh deep stronghold and which uh, is in some mining shaft or something. Because well, it's 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 like kind of supposed to be a joke, but it actually is really confusing where they're like, all right, everybody, we're gonna go in as a team. We're gonna do this, that, and the other thing. Mm. We're gonna have to take out the lights on this. And then like it's such a quick jump cut to Black Adam doing more of the same Black Adam stuff. I'm like, wait, is this are they is it one of those montages where they're talking about what is gonna happen? Or is oh, this like you know what yeah, I mean? I, yeah. I'm so confused by it. That's the uh Kanye West power one. Yes, yes. I think Ooh. the <laughs> which is of course that did not age very well. well. <laughs> not drop. great. Not a good uh, good look as they say. <laughs> but like the joke there, quote unquote, is supposed to be like Oh, they do all this planning when you could just do stuff. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and like, it. look what uh, Black Adam's doing stuff. Yeah. He just hit that thing and exploded. <laughs> and it's just, I mean, again, like, because because Black Adam, and this is another problem, Black Adam is so powerful. They make him so powerful in this movie. Yeah. Nothing stops him. Nothing phases him. Nothing. 
it and it, it becomes really repetitive to watch him. Like, you ever play something with on God mode for a little while? Like, yeah, yeah, it right. gets fucking boring. Yep. You know it what does. I mean? Like, yeah. and it, there needs to be either, and that's why it would make sense if he was the villain of Shazam and Shazam's just as powerful, and then they fight each other. Well, I, also- I, the, the the one thing about that is that there. No way in fucking hell is Dwayne Johnson yep. allowing himself to be number two under Chuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's just not happening. That's, yeah, that's, that's absolutely fair. true. But, you know, that's also why these movies aren't that interesting. Yeah. It's, you know, you know, they're fun. Some of them are fun, but like super guy has superpowers and it's just God mode. And, you know, you know, there's not actual stakes that are going to happen. I know people will point to, End game or whatever, but whatever. oh wow, I mean, one of them really died. I mean, the, yes, exactly, even, one out of a billion. That the the Batman from last year, the best superhero movie of last year by a country fucking mile. Oh, yes, uh, at the end with the water and stuff, it's one guy trying to make all this stuff happen. Like you feel that, you yeah, know what I mean? That's it, because true. it's a well made movie, yeah. also, which is also. Doesn't Which just, also didn't need the Joker stinger either. I, it, not, oh, oh, that's, oh, yeah. it did not. They got to go back to fucking concept with that Joker, by the Absolutely. way. I like Barry Cogan as much as the next guy, but I, let's just rethink some stuff. I, I need to come. I, I really like that. I like that actually gave me chills when yeah. I saw it. Really? It, Barry was Cogan. the air conditioning on? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. Sick fucking, uh, well, sick Chill. something. I almost it said Wallace burn. and Gromit, but Six that's not who I meant. Tyrannus, <laughs> with that fucking shot I popped off. Yeah. But for whatever reason. Statler and Waldorf. That's it. Right. Right. Ah, it, was, it was a Statler and Waldorf show. <laughs> anyway. But I mean, like, but and even like, you know, Superman 79 or, or Superman 2, like, you know what I mean? Like, the, if you actually care about making these fights interesting, you can. But they don't. They, in this movie specifically, he's just zipping around. And like once you get to the fact, like, oh shit, he's killed those guys. Once that loses its luster, which it does really quickly, yep. you're terribly bored. Yep. So now we're in this impossible room with uh, Ismail has uh, Anon behind a force field of some kind. Right. It's 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 entertaining. It's entertaining. It's an entertaining field. Got it. We also have force fields being thrown around by Doctor Fate. I, yeah. This, this force field stuff. <laughs> Come on. Well, like, so what we're going to, the spoiler, what's going to be revealed eventually is that this uh, Octung, the, 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 the king, descendant yeah, of the 2600 king, Ishmael, yeah. has to be killed for him to get his superpowers back. Sure. Yeah. But oh, right. Because like, the, 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 uh, they were always reading it as like, like what? Life is the path to death, yes. but it was death, death is, is the is path, path to life. So, yeah. yes, David exactly. Berkowitz die. believed. Uh, no, <laughs> who, who? David, David Berkowitz. Berkowitz. Oh, yeah, I think so. No, I think Dane Cook believes that. <laughs> <laughs> he would come back as some type of demonic king, right? didn't he? Um, they're behind a forest field, and he's like, "Give me the crown that will give me unlimited power and destroy the whole world if you give it to me, and I'll give you your son back." And this lady's like, "Great idea," Man. and I'm like, "Well." Listen to the second part of that sentence. The whole world, which has your son in it, yeah. will be destroyed. Uh, what? I'm just Lady Doctor Explorer. <laughs> here's the crown. Here's, here's the crown. Here is, you go. Did, did you hear what they said, Black Adam? They take the baby. There's a scene like before they get in there where they're talking about like what they want to do, and it's like, let's just fucking kill this dude yeah. or whatever. And she's just like, no. My son is in there, and as long as my son, is, and I was like, "Lady, you're part of the resistance. My, oh, right, and this you is gotta be ready for that kid to die." Black Adam agrees with her, right? Because he's just like, "Not your country, not your son." So it's not your decision. And then, and then, then it's a problem immediately. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Who saw that coming? <laughs> No, my son is special. He likes comic books and he skateboards. <laughs> oh, just like me in the audience. That must mean I'm special. And once he was really, really mean to intergang. <laughs> okay, it- so he's special and we're going to like the whole thing is like he uh, 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 Ishmael turns on this shield because fucking uh, Black Adam, Black can't, Adam get can't get through it. Sure. But then all of a sudden he 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 gives a little uh, uh, signal to his man to turn it off. Yes, definitely. Now, it makes sense that Ishmael wants Ugh. this to happen because he wants to die. Yeah. But if you're in on the, like, the, if you're the number two there being like, what, what are we doing? <laughs> wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Well, exa- wait, wait, excuse me. Can we keep it on? Can, excuse, back here. Can we keep it on? I uh, would rather not die. Counterpoint, uh, keeping it on. 
<laughs> just maybe we keep it on for a while. Yeah, just you know, keep it on. I don't know. See what happens I, if we keep it on. Otherwise, he could get through it to us and well, kill us. That's the thing is, it's not just death. He needs to be killed by Black Adam in order to be sent to the Rock of Who Gives a Shit. I mean, uh, Gibraltar <laughs> of Eternity, uh, sir. Really quickly, um, I don't know if you're looking at the numbers. We are getting creamed by this Black Adam guy. We're we're gonna intergang is gonna be interguy by the end of the week. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I mean, like, we are we are really low on intergang. Sent a lot of them to the intergrave. <laughs> Remember back when Joe said it's not like he's a god or something? Well, it it, it kind of seems like he is one. I'm gonna I, just a guess here. I think he's a god. And I appreciate the super gun you gave me. It's really cool. But I've seen my best friend fire it at his eyeballs, and nothing has happened. <laughs> so what? The man who was the best man at my wedding was turned into a black skeleton because he was electrocuted to death. Do you take this intergang to be your intergang wedded wife? Right. You, you are now so? intergang. Do you think someone's out there against intergangle marriage? <laughs> you know what? There definitely is, Eric. And they're getting definitely some media coverage. I you think. may kiss the intergang. <laughs> All right, uh, time for karaoke. I love it when you call me Big Intergang. <laughs> Put your hands in the air if you're a true Intergang. <laughs> Come on. Oh, jeez, I hate Intergang weddings. <laughs> <laughs> this DJ, this Intergang DJ sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, Doing the electric slide. <laughs> inter, 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 Intergang. <laughs> We got a new match on Tinder. Oh, now he's in her gang. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just. He's twenty. He's two miles away from me. Uh, Looks pretty good, but he's definitely inter gang. His profile pictures him wearing a red inter gang the inter gang hat. <laughs> and you know what? These inter gangs, they, guys, they never have time for you. You know, they're always doing other inter gang stuff. They never keep it. A, you can't get a text from them. Inter gang has no time for intercourse. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, but he tries to shoot. Anon in the head, and then this is when uh, the uh, Black Adam comes through. He catches the bullet at a fit of rage. He destroys. Uh, he totally murders uh, all those intergang dudes and Ismail, and vaguely hurts Anon. Ooh. And this so I mean, like you see this thing go sky high. Yes. How is this kid just kind of like? <laughs> kill kill the kid it'll give black adam a reason to rethink his way exactly yep. like he's just vaguely hurt and i mean the kid doesn't pay any, i mean he, he does like ba bullshit at the end of the movie but like just brushes his shoulder off he's like, out of the movie there yeah. has to be collateral damage sure like of that, some kind that's how you grow but then, then and like it's a thing too sorry but like he sees this kid eat shit which you know me and the audience catharsis <laughs> black adam sees it he's reminded of his son getting murdered yeah there's your well I, exactly I think all of that happens without the kid eating shit which doesn't which no is, is, is the kid's shitty yeah. shit yes but like piles of it this this is when it's he like a massachusetts man removing his wife's teeth <laughs> <laughs> it's toothless <laughs> Oh, uh, that is just, it's one Sorry, of the ripped from the headlines. Dude, it's one of the worst, <laughs> laziest bun bun. crimes. Yeah. Oh my God. We were talking about it before we went on the air. But, um, so this is what he reveals to Hawkman only because Hawkman earlier has the dumbest line I've ever heard. He goes, <laughs> Just say Shazam, and we can all go home. Dude, and I was like, like, is that a fucking promise, Hawkman? I'll <laughs> scream in the theater right now. <laughs> the credits cut. Shazam! Shazam! If you say Shazam, the credits roll. And it's I just can, like that. I cannot believe what happens next, right? is this? He actually says it, and they put him into a demolition man prison. They do, which is so insane. because he, He's he goes, in there for five minutes. Don't worry, exactly. folks. Dude, okay, here's the thing. First of all, this happens after like a that, that massive explosion and the fight there and everything, yeah. and you're like, all all right. Well, the dipshit kid's hurt, but he's saved. Uh -huh. Pierce Brosnan told me that the brother's going to survive the uh, gunshot wound there. He's good. The mother's still alive. Okay. Intergang appears to be permanently eradicated. Got it. This must be the end of the movie. Pause. 40 minutes left. Well, sure. Don't worry about it. 40 minutes well, left. You have to let out 20 minutes of explaining that um, Black Adam, the guy who he used to be, yeah. He's not that person. He's yes. another person. Um, and this matters. You well, got you know what? This really fucking matters. Well, because his son, he uh it was his son the whole time who did all the good stuff in the, uh. in the old days. And the second, like uh the king said to everybody to kill his family, he kills the mother, and he almost kills uh Teth Adam, uh Dwayne Johnson, and like 
to save his father. He says, he's like, we have to say Shazam at the same time. And I got to tell you, this Shazam kid, to Shazam. <laughs> Sorry. This hey, kid, Marion. <laughs> this kid gets uh, assassinated immediately. Oh, yeah. I think that was that rotten old wizard Shazam that did it. I think that that's what happened. Mm-hmm. I think he was just like, oh, fuck, I finally killed that kid. <laughs> you know what, dude? I didn't give that. No takesies backsies on the Shazam powers. So which wizard are we talking about? Jaman Hansu? That's Jaman oh, yeah. Hansu plays Shazam. I think oh, he's got that's the his name is yeah. Shazam? His name, yeah. This is getting so confused. <laughs> I was God. Say. Damn, that's dumb. I've seen Shazam. <laughs> Just say because they all have uh, names, like yeah, all the other yeah. Uh, kings. Wait, Zachary the- Levi's Shazam, though, right? No, he's Captain Marvel. You what? see, but really? why call- is the movie it's called Shazam? But because you can't because call he's Captain Shazam. Marvel. Because you can't call him Captain Marvel because the, the Marvel already came out with that movie. Oh, that would so, be oh, way too. Oh, so, but you're saying right. though, if that movie didn't come out, whatever, if that character they- didn't exist, probably, yeah. They would have called it Captain Marvel. But Captain so he's, Marvel's so he's, Marvel, yes. and the Shazam is DC. Did yes. DC have a Captain Marvel, too? DC, it does. Shazam, the guy you call Shazam, the guy in the red suit, is named Captain Marvel. Do they say that in the movie? <laughs> yeah, I believe they do. I didn't even see it, but I believe they must. What do they call know. that? The aristocrats. <laughs> 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 oh, excellent. Here's the thing, too, about this 40 minutes being left and fuck this movie and fuck this stupid thing that they think is a cool look, but it's not. He gets put in this super prison, right? And so you're thinking, like, okay, it's the end of the movie because it's like, you know, Pierce Brosnan's like, as long as you keep him underwater, he will never utter a word again. And he's getting like into like a back to tank, basically. Sure, yes. Okay, cool. And then, like, he gets propped up in a thing and it's little pre super soldier serum steve rogers here in this in this tube this back to tank and then the camera does this wild like the scope of the the wherever he's yeah. being kept and look, real fucking you know indiana jones yeah. shit and look at all these other people that amanda waller has kept in this prison and i'm like here comes the blackout shot you know yeah. what i mean uh-huh. and then i i want to it, it it purposely, I think, to fuck with me specifically, holds on this shot of all these people that you can't make out a Look, single one of them to think like, okay, it is coming, and then the movie keeps going. You did not learn your lesson from Minority Report. I haven't seen that movie in 15 years. That, that's also, we're, I mean, we're talking about Demolition Man, but this is like literally how Minority Report happened. Like, they get Tom Cruise, put him in a, a, a stand-up prison, yeah, yeah. put him down, and it acts like the movie's about to end. Oh. And then secretly, oh, Max von Sydow, Shabbat guy. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it's like, I gotta rewatch watch out. I've been meaning to go, I've been really meaning to go back to that Really one. great movie. But Internet Ticker. Uh-oh. So, that you know, the wizard yeah. is Shazam. Yes, Jim and Hansu is Shazam, and Zachary Levi is also Shazam. Oh, interesting. They don't give him a they different don't give, name. They don't say Captain Marvel. Interesting. No. I, I I turned that movie off after five minutes. I wasn't into it. Uh, uh, it's, oh. it's honestly, it's not good. I don't like it. It's a better movie than this. I'm I, sure it is. I Super Joe will give you my 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 protege. My name. Super Joe. <laughs> Not even like a, a junior or a, no Super Joe and Super Joe. You can be Super Joe Jr. They can call you Joju. <laughs> Super something. Joe Jr. is my son, you bastard. Uh we get Amelia Harcourt from Peacemaker because 14 people passed on a cameo. Dude, I, I had to like, look at the ticket. I was like, who is this who woman again? Fuck and, is this person? I, and I, I liked I, Peacemaker I, quite a bit. This is news to me. I watch I watched Peacemaker. I watched Watch this movie. Well, she's Good one of know. the people sitting in that office with Steve Agee. Yeah, she's like the, sure. the romantic lead. She's too. James yeah. Gunn's wife. Yes. Right? Also, that's other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, but then what? She's like yeah, Peacemaker's yeah. lady friend? Yeah, she's. Yeah, they were like. Did you see Peacemaker? I did, but dude, this lady is so fucking not memorable. Yeah, I yeah. didn't think this was a character. Well, she's not like no, his latest she's friend, not. but like it's like, oh, will they, won't they kind of a thing. Right, like, but you're saying I watched her for like 10 <laughs> episodes. 10 <laughs> yes, episodes. Full episodes. She dances that I, in the beginning. Yeah. Yes, yes. That I legitimately liked. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. she's like dude, one of. She's literally one of the leads of the show. But this, but this tells you, dude, the scope of this movie, man. But I mean, yeah. and also like I missed it. I can't believe it. I can't <laughs> I believe it. it. Why aren't we killing these people? What 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 is the purpose of having someone put in water that they can't move, think, or do uh, anything? Just fucking I, I'm against the death penalty as the next guy. But if you give me those two options, like uh, fucking kill him. Where are my tax dollars going? Excuse <laughs> me. Somebody sounding awfully black Adamish. 
<laughs> All right. You know what? It's it's not, you know, you don't have to kill your enemies, Steve. They you can know be what, your man? friends too. Sometimes Magneto had some good ideas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I anti-death penalty, but it's got to cost. I don't even know how much the electricity bill on these fucking yeah. back. Sure. Sure. Okay, I, here's the thing. Anti- that's why the that's why the military budget always goes up and yep. Joe Biden never. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we got to keep Black Adam in prison. Oh, my is- God. If we get rid of all the back to tanks and American black sites, we're going to have all sorts of Black Adams running all over the confounded <laughs> world. It's like the cabin in the woods with all the monsters yes. or like yep. uh, the Raiders of the Lost Ark room with all the shit. So you sure. can see all the other prisons in the back. Yeah. I wonder what that one is. Uh-huh, yeah. I wonder what this one is. I wonder when this movie's happening. Ooh, yeah, but that's interesting, right? Because at the end of Raiders, no one was like, maybe one of those boxes has <laughs> Indy's next adventure uh. in it. But this shot of that room with all I'm the sh- things, it's like, yeah. try to look in there, you fucking pig. See what <laughs> who is that? you I think I have. Is that Destro? Ooh, is that oh. the shaggy man? The- oh, my God. Is that Starro the Destroyer? If this got a sequel, one person would break out, and that would be the yeah. movie. Well, that's oh, wait, like- I'm sorry. The shaggy man? Yeah, he's kind of a cool What's dude? the shaggy man? He's kind of an invincible dude. He fucks, dude. dude? Yeah, he does he fuck. Sh- he well, gets shaggy. That's don't a- think it don't say it. A money thing, too, because fucking, you know it would be very, like, you know they wanted to have a shot where like they show yes. all the villains yes. like not naming them. You don't see the name, sure. but you know the character by look. Or like you get like you know what would be cool like it's like Clayface is locked. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ooh, is that the key? Ooh, I don't you know any any bullshit villain. But they don't even do that. But they just have all these people. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't let them all go. Oh man, you turn down the back to tanks. Next thing you know, you got Calendar Man roaming the countryside. <laughs> Well, ridiculous. I, mean, I love Amanda Waller. She just, she makes such fantastic music. <laughs> Have you ever heard Young Lust? It's a fantastic song. What I, what I, <laughs> I wanted a woman of color to run all the black sites. That's what I, that's what I promised. That's what I ran on. That's what I, I promised. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I take that back. Well, you know what I mean? Just, not, uh, no, no, no. Sites where th- secret things are going on <laughs> and there ain't a map to it. You know what? I, no, I didn't mean God. Damn. Okay, it's, it's time for me to talk to the American public. We have to do, we have to deal with African American Adam. <laughs> oh my God. We have to do it, uh, Mr. President. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm doing freewheeling on this one. He's uh, not actually American at all. <laughs> but what? <coughs> I mean, well, the actor Samoan. I don't know. <laughs> But, but, but you're, you're way off base here, yeah. sir. He's, uh, from but, Can- but the name, the <laughs> name from Kandak, actually, sir. <laughs> but the name it's a, says uh, fake bla- con- it's a fake it, country. It doesn't but, really matter. It, it, but the name says bl- black. So, sir, this was a motion picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It wasn't a video briefing. Oh, so the bitch. movie uh, that really just describes his mood. <laughs> it's Donald Trump's fault. Is what it is. <laughs> Uh, there is the well, the movie literally goes to hell for a hot minute, and I kind of <laughs> wanted more of this. Hell sure, for a yep. hot minute. Yeah. We're just like, oh, hello, welcome, uh, whatever you smell. And I was waiting for the subtitles on HBO Max to tell me like that this was Satan himself or whatever. But it just there four maybe demons. it's the devil, but maybe it's another demon. I know it's thing. like four demons that come together to make Cybok. Well, that that's actually Cyrax. That's, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. sorry, was it Cybok? Oh, Cybok, dude, Spock's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sarek. They formed together with Sarek. Um, where is it? Because I found this out by doing Wikipedia stuff. Apparently, Sabak, which is very similar to, so uh, the whole Shazam thing is like he has the stamina of Shu, the the speed of Heru, the strength of Amon, et cetera, et cetera. So Sabak, exactly. I'm bored too. Sabak, if I can find it. Yes. He has the uh uh unlike Teth Adam, Sabak was bestowed with the powers of six the six most powerful demons of hell. Mm. Satan, Aim, Belial, Beelzebub, Esmodius, and Kratos. So all those dudes formed it. So he's like a fucking demon power ranger. Wow. So oh, you yeah. got That's you got cool. Beelzebub in there, you got Satan. Mm-hmm. That's pretty He's cool. like Russell Crowe in Virtuosity. <laughs> he's got all the different all murderers the from all That's the right. different, mm-hmm. all the dictators that ever have been are inside <laughs> Russell Crowe. It would be fucking awesome if they got Al Pacino back to play the devil. Oh, yeah. oh, welcome to hell, my favorite place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks like we're going to come together to make one big happy <laughs> cyborg. <laughs> we fried his big ass. <laughs> and then we ate it all up. I had coffee with Black Adam <laughs> half an hour ago. I just, oh, uh, 
I'd love it. He there has, was some. He um, has the powers of Jeffrey Epstein. The power, <laughs> the courage of Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh man, he's a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> real, real bad dude here, man. <laughs> uh, but whatever. So he turns into literally a God of War character with these horns. Yeah, totally. Yeah. This is straight from a video game. I would have no interest. It, in. And it, it looks it bad. Is, no. it, it looks terrible. If you were bored of watching the Justice Society get their ass kicked, sorry, pals. Guess ready for the third act. Here yeah. it comes these all dudes again. Do, and th- that's the thing. It's like If you're doing Hawkman and all this shit, like, A, call it the Justice Society movie, and then no one will go to it. But um, Or, or B, <laughs> like, have villains that they can encounter and defeat. And I'm like, oh, wow, Hawkman sure showed that guy a lesson. Yeah. Oh, th- th- but he is being beaten by Black Adam. So at least I can see, like, yep. they're at least competent slightly. That's the rock contract again, I think. <laughs> I think everybody has to yeah. look like they're fucking weak as shit as compared yes. to Big Black Adam. Yeah. <sighs> I, I mean, just, I don't know what else it would be. Whoa, oh. Black Adam. Bam, bam, bam. Whoa, oh, Black Adam. Bam, 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 bam Black Adam. Had a child. Bam, 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 bam. Damn thing got hit with arrows. Bam, <laughs> that would be better of a bam, music bam. drop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what happens now? Black we- Adam never smiles. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Shazam's gone wild. <laughs> They get yes. their clock cleaned. Dr. Fate does astral projection uh-huh. and releases Black Adam. Oh, no, I think Thanos is going. Oh, I mean, sorry. I'm, <laughs> apologies. I was reading. Uh, I, I, was crib- I was reading what this movie was stealing from. Yes. <laughs> apologies. <laughs> but so yes. it's, it's our villain, Black Sabbath. Okay, no. <laughs> Sabak. Uh, but yes, he does. He, re- he, re- he relieves. Um, and this is when, even though this movie's two hours long, the fact that it takes him so long to break out of this prison, I'm like, can Black Adam just get to the fucking thing? That's well, that's you fun. have the J, JSA fight, yes, with, while, with while this he's... devil monster, and it it goes a really long time while Black Adam is in this jail, and I was like, oh shit, man! Not only did one, I thought the movie was over with, and two, learned there were 40 minutes left. <laughs> now three. The titular character is missing this massive fight yes. with the guy that he's supposed to kill. And also, when he gets put in jail, we get this fucking narration from, I think, Dr. Fate that's mm-hmm. just like, and he'll never speak again. <laughs> Henceforth, well, he shall never be able to say Shazam, unless he wants to later in the movie. <laughs> oh, so you think. <laughs> yeah. the, the funniest part of, like, Pierce literally just turning around and freeing him with his mental powers from this jail thousands of miles away and yeah. under the water and whatever is that he can use his little like pieces of fucking sugar candy or whatever this encasing is that he yeah. makes mm. to break the back to tank part yeah. but refuse to break the fucking thing out of I his know, mouth. Dude, like, take yeah. the five seconds rip this shit off his mouth and you got and the movie is moving along and yep. it's like we we get hand to hand combat and he's Demuscled and weird looking. Yes. And, and it looks bad. And it's in this darkened void. Like, show me more of this prison if we're there. And he yep. drowns and then he sees his family again. And like and he's like, Is the movie over? And they're like, No. <laughs> and, oh, I just had the I had the terrible dream. I woke up, I thought it was in the Black Adam movie. Good to be back in good old twenty six hundred BC. I feel like I'm some kind of gladiator. Or something. <laughs> I mean, it's literally he's like yes. almost putting his hands through the wheat. And I, I, I I almost fucking and screamed. Like, no. Father, you must go back and save. It's Kanak. not your time, yes. Daddy. It's no. a twist, you see. I'm the little boy that the statues are. <laughs> By the way, the one like kind of what might have been a surprise uh, at the end of this movie, like uh, Aldous Hodge getting fucking impaled or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We've been seeing trailers for yeah. the end of the movie. Oh yeah, through Doctor Fate's touching of the helmet. Yes, and I'm like. This thing is predictable fucking enough. Yes. Thank you. Why are you throwing this shit at me when I could maybe be slightly surprised? Good by lesson. It. You touch your helmet too much, the climax comes early. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Woo! All right, I'm out. <laughs> Ended on a high note. He just left. <laughs> uh, I guess we keep we keep keep talking. I guess, Eric, I guess we'll all right. Could you give me a water while you're out? <laughs> Go ahead, you go, get me a new Black Adam movie that's uh, better than this one. <laughs> Man, for the bit, I kind of want to just be quiet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is when um, uh, Dr. Fate puts a force field around everything and is like, well, I want to save Hawkman for some reason. It's just this weird thing where like, he tells Hawkman, like, yes, I had a vision, and the only way we defeat him is if you die. And then, like, he just flips it, and he's like, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to do it. And he has, again, it would be 
better and more interesting if we knew fuck all about this guy. Exactly. But Pierce actually, because it's fucking Pierce Brosnan, nails this line where he's like, for the first time in a hundred years, when I look ahead, I see nothing. Yeah. And it's beautiful. And like, you get the sense that Dr. Fate is a dude who's like, Tired with living and, the, you know, whatever the job has been, you know, with Yesterday, the JSA. my great-great-grandson showed me TikTok. And today <laughs> I said, end it, devil man. And the helmet kept telling me I was going to be due for Parkinson's next year. So. <laughs> yes, Huckman, it was supposed to be you in the vision. But then I rewatched Infinity War, <laughs> and it turns out the the man in the metal suit can't die. It has to be the strange magic man. Uh, whatever he fights. Uh, which is also funny because Doctor Fate is probably the strong. The other, the, the only one that does anything to this demon dude yeah, yeah. aside yes. from fucking. Yep. He seems like he's, he's holding his own for a while while Black Adam is taking his fucking time. Meanwhile, the Adam Smasher Cyclone stuff. Is terrible. There's like three. They have three and a half lines of dialogue. Can they just kiss at the end of it? Because they're no. they're like they're at least like flirting the entire movie. I'm like, can anyone have any? Not even sensuality, but like an old fashioned boy and young boy and a young girl having their first fucking kiss. Could we even have that in a movie? No, no. I mean, just no. I, here's the thing. I mean, I I crave that just as much as you do. This is neither the time nor the place for I it. know, but these fucking nonsense garbage characters were like, yeah, they are kind of flirting throughout it. And there's definitely one point where Dr. Fate's like, no, no, no fucking on the plane. Let's <laughs> focus on the goal Steve, here. Steven, I've never been more disappointed in you. Yeah. Why can't these two young people just be friends? Sure. <laughs> huh? Why can't they well, just like not even hold hands? Why don't they just look at each other and smile? If they kiss, would there be a problem Would some people be like, I don't know about that. I don't like, know. Yeah. I mean, it would be the age old thing of, well, actually, this is all of this has kind of made this irrelevant. The old thing, like, uh, why are they like a romance at yeah. the end? Like, I'm now like, get the stupid romance. Yeah, exactly. yes, I flipped <laughs> the fucking thing in there. I flipped the other way around because, again, like, this movie is totally devoid of not just romance. Ero not even an eroticism, forget it, but like just like human emotion, which yeah. is like attraction. I, I'm is like attracted sure. to this Illegal. person. Yes, exactly. Like, but that's what's interesting, though, is you're listen to what you're saying here. You are asking for that out of like the fucking F team, dude, the bench. <laughs> yes. And because it's All right, because I, I, first, I would love Pierce Brosnan and Aldous, Aldous Hodge to make out. I'll be honest with you. Well, Very old nice. friend, it's just one more time. Well, yes. Uh, you remind me of the third time I saw the RAF fly overhead, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> that would be... I, would I have... gave my first blowjob. <laughs> I salute you, sir. <laughs> that would be an the extra be star oh, on the easily. rating. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that's how these movies could do, change it up from Marvel's, like, Toothless. Yes. Oh, I'm uh, I'm gay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just go fuck. Give me a fucking sloppy wet kiss with those two guys. I will miss it you so much. They're just like a real hot one. But dude, kissing ladies, kissing dudes, whatever. You're fucking forgetting. This movie stars Dwayne Johnson. It is against the law for that guy to have any sexuality in a movie. <laughs> it's whatsoever. Oh it's like that Emily Blunt movie where it's supposed to be like. You know, the Disney ridification of a movie like The African Queen, and that's sure. supposed to be what their chemistry is, and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? When you watch The African Queen, there's all this sexual tension between uh, uh, Hepburn and Bogey, and they're fighting, blah, blah, blah. At the end, they fucking fall in love. And at no point in that movie are you ever thinking for a hot second is Dwayne Johnson going to kiss that woman? And sure <laughs> as shit, it's not going to happen here either. Oh, like God. with him and and, and yeah. Addy or whatever. Like yeah. no freaking and way. In Skyscraper, what, it's Nev Campbell's Nev one? Campbell. Yeah. And yeah. They, they, their relationship's like a, Nothing. like a, they like work at the next cubicle. From each <laughs> yeah, other. they're co-workers. Well, and he's, yeah. he's married to Carla Gugino in the other one. What's that one? Oh, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I'm forgetting the name. I think that's the one where Paul Giamatti's a scientist. Oh, San Andreas. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. My God. This guy's made a lot of bad movies. I hold my wife's hand. That's what I do. Yes, yep. That's what mommies and daddies do only. Uh, I, of course I know what sex is. Can you explain it? Uh, <laughs> well, I know a top hat is involved. <laughs> well, it's even like Luke Hobbs, dude. In those movies, that guy even has a daughter. So he presumably fucked once. Unless, you know, somebody stole some seed from him or something. But just it. it's like, it's just, he's just constantly 
not a sexual presence oh. at all. And you think about like I don't know, like Lois Lane wanting to kiss Superman. Oh my oh, god, could you fucking believe it? Uh, oh my god. And then we were talking about Arnold. They say panties in that movie. He says what color underwear I, she wears in a 1978 movie for children. I and will, that's <laughs> fucking awesome. I will take the 911 kiss. I will take <laughs> yes. it. That was fine with me. If it means there's a kiss there, I'm fine with it. We were talking about early about Arnold's career in relation to The Rock. I mean, he's He's kissing people. He's, yes. he's ba- he lands a lady in kindergarten cop. Yeah, yes, I mean, he even does. Fuck, I mean, true, uh, true romance. LOL. Uh, Arlo, <laughs> true romance. Yes, I'm obsessed with Elvis. Yeah, QT sent me the script right away, and I read it overnight. I I'm, think- here I am with Patricia Arquette in the middle of a kung fu movie. <laughs> I, I, Pretty cool. I read the script and I said, <laughs> you know, give this to my good friend Gary Oldman. <laughs> Here I am with the dreadlocks. <laughs> and his name is the same as this title's, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, whatever. So this kid, uh, so um, Black Adam finally gets there, and they both double, t- uh, what do you call it? The, the, uh, Dr. Fate gets killed. Uh, Pierce Bros is like, and put it in my contract that I'm fucking dead. You better have me completely dissolve in front of the audience's <laughs> eyes. I'd like to be Gaddafi at the end of this one. <laughs> no taxis, backsies. Shove a pole up my ass and leave me in the town square. Thank you. Oh, man. If only like real life was like superhero movies so Gaddafi could just come back and start walking around again. <laughs> Just polishing off the medals on that coat. <laughs> taking a zombified the zombified Gaddafi. Yeah, taking the knife out of his ass. Um, oh, speaking of zombies, the Skeleton League is in this movie. Oh, my God, oh, yeah. because the devil guy vaguely summons the devils. Meanwhile, this kid, Amon, is like 13, 14 years uh, old. I looked up the kid, at least on IMDb. The actor himself was 14 making this uh, movie. He's walking around in this cape like he's seven years old. Geez. And it's uh, embarrassing. Yeah. And it I, think, I think it was probably supposed to be younger. Yes. But like, I mean, the kid sucks, but like, you can't make a little kid do the stuff that they're like, it's, it, they're asking, yes. yeah, they're it's asking this character stuff. to do two kinds of things, like be the precocious little kid, but then he's got to be like this aspiring revolutionary who's riding around on a skateboard like Bart Simpson. Oh, what are these people getting stirred up about? He makes the triangle. Oh, I know what that is, of yeah. course, immediately. Yeah, they're uh, huge fans of At- WCW's Diamond Dallas page. <laughs> it's hap- it, it happens in the beginning, too. Like, yeah. the, the beginning yeah. storyline, he just, like, makes the thing. Or like, oh, yeah, we're pissed now. It's like a revolutionary it. symbol, but we never know that. And also, like, what do you need to be stirred up about? Literal demons arising yes, from the grave. People, Stop them! Skeletons <laughs> that are on fire are coming out of the ground, mm-hmm. and this kid and the mother's reaction is just like, yeah, whatever. Because I mean, I guess the other people are like, ah, it's just another day in Kandak. Like, no, yeah. they would be like, holy shit, let's get some rocks and throw it at these skeletons. That's the thing, dude. The fact that these citizens need to hear it from the crowd, <laughs> in which case the crowd is this child, yes. yeah. given the DDP sign, like... I kind of think you already gave up on conduct, to be totally yeah. honest with yeah. you, gentle yeah. citizens. Like, you see these little skeletons who also are proving to be not that adversarial. You can really knock them down with a quick, you know, hit with a bat or whatever. But it turns out conduct is in you. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. It bit me. It, it, it hurt. Hey, nobody messes with Black Adam around here, all right? We're from fucking conduct. <laughs> We're throwing garbage you at us. It's just with, the Spider-Man Yeah, thing. you mess with one of us. You mess with all of us. <laughs> Well, actually, we were going to fight uh, all these skeletons and shit, but apparently the Justice Society just destroyed all of our deities and all of our mosques, <laughs> every temple of worship. It was weird how oh. they kept intentionally body slamming people into our temples of worship. You can't say mosque in this movie. Well, uh, that's the thing. It's like, well, yeah, what what are we talking about? Are they it? Muslim? Wow. Are they not? Are they? Is it? Yeah, I, I they guess Hindi- they, look, what, what, they're at black atomists. Exactly. They, they don't believe in anything. They just worship black Adam, which I guess I would, too, if that dude could shoot lightning. But hey, man, this, that's for all them fucking uncles out there that are exactly. watching the movie. Like, You're telling me that there's Muslim heroes in this film. That would be fucking Mother, fantastic. get my coat. It, <laughs> would be, it? it would be great. Like even even if even if like, you know, black Adam isn't Muslim, but apparently like uh, Amon and his mother are. But that's what the movie is like desperately trying to eke in with some yes. of these characters in and having them say, not say, but say Black Adam is a hero for us. Exactly. You know no. what I mean? But like they're too cowardly to actually go all the way with that line of thought. Which I also think is 
a, at least a little bit couched in like we also cast a Samoan guy. You know sure. what I mean? Like a little Which bit of that. Which is also weird. It is right? weird. No, yeah. I mean, like, it's, th- you get away with it because it's a fake nation anyway. No one's conductees or whatever the hell you would call these people. Uh-huh. But at the same time, most people are scared. They're skewing Middle Eastern in terms yes. of like who actually is in from Kondak, yeah. and you get this big Samoan this dude, the, uh, Scor- not- Scorpion King claws. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Black Adam becomes like half scorpion at the end of this. That would make me very happy. He does tear this dude in half like a piece of paper. Yeah. It's it's pretty okay. It's kind of great. It reminded me of the you know the opening minutes of Black Adam's appearance when he's killing all the dudes when he first comes out of the prison temple or whatever. I mean, yeah, pretty sweet. Like literally tearing him in half while screaming. Pretty cool, yeah, but I- like I wish I gave a shit about this villain at all. No, no. You know? he doesn't because we don't do that anymore. We don't have a villain that talks. Because it's also like what what happens when he gets on this throne? Oh well, you know, Kandak's fucked. Well, already was. Well, yeah, <laughs> it already was. And he oh, guess what? Oh, don't let him sit on the throne. Oh no, he did. Guess what? We still have enough power to defeat him because we just decided to do that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the whole fucking uh, all these movies like eventually it's like the real villain is yourself actually and not believing in yourself. <laughs> and I'm like, can I get a villain in this? Fucking th- just one, I swear. No, no, no. We're Could gonna get a fight. mustache to twirl. No, yes. no, you're gonna fight other heroes <laughs> to establish them, and then we're just gonna be friends. So yep. Haw- Hawkman take to d- defeat the Devil Man. Hawkman takes a uh, 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 Doctor Fate's helmet, yeah. and makes a multiplicity. Multiple Hawkmans sure. are, are are holding him down, and to let you, I, I don't even know what the purpose of this was. Sure. To let you know that Dr. Fate, I guess the, the helmet is badass. It suddenly has eyes. Yeah. It's like, oh, actually. I was well, like, that's, is he alive again? Is that, what is the, that? The eyes are, that's how it's drawn in the comic, but it's like, it's, it's kind of, I think it's harder to do it. Like, usually it has like basically like Batman eyes, you know, you like white, to, you white to, little holes. But he doesn't kind of have that when he's just. No, it's not because that, that would look, I, that would look cool. I it's guess. like, no, it's like do the, it or don't. Thank you. Well, that's, I mean, it looks like those Jeeps that have angry face. <laughs> Oh yeah. This has been driving me insane. Somebody's got to tell me how what is this? Why do all Is it just guys that are like I want my my vehicle to be pissed off? Well, you know what the angry face thing is, dude? I think it actually we're talking about uh Skinamarink mm. uh on on screen live. I think it's a thing where everybody is chasing that Fisher Price toy phone face Uh uh-huh because the jeeps always kind of remind me of that too sure i can see that yeah and if you've seen skinnamarink a much better movie go to (laughs) youtube.com slash we hate movies um so he rips him in half and he's dead he's dead and then the (laughs) justice society's like well you know we lost uh dr fate that's no big deal hey kids let's all get get on the plane and never talk to each other ever again. <laughs> I, I thought two things here that were hilarious to me. One is they definitely give Aldous Hodge like a really bad, lazy sequel setup line. It's sort oh, of, do they? I missed it. Ooh. It's sort of like a, it's a little bit of a next time baby because he's like, Oh yeah, Black Adam. Well, we're going to keep an eye on you to make sure you're not using those powers of yours. Uh-huh. And like Amanda mm. Waller, Later tells yeah. him like he can't leave, you yeah, know, conduct kinda. or whatever. But it's just like he smirks, just like we'll see you in other Black Adam <laughs> adventures. Uh, but then the other thing is when they are making these two kids get on the fucking planes, the Cyclone and the Adam Smasher. It reminded me of when <laughs> the Simpsons when they have uh, the 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 yo yo team come to the yeah. school and they're just like, wow, their lives must be so amazing. <laughs> yes. And the guy's like, yeah. get in the van, we get three other schools to do today. Absolutely, <laughs> get that fucking plane. I mean, like, and this is Cyclone. They could do the Whirly Bird. <laughs> I mean, couldn't there be? I mean, not that I, I wouldn't have minded like a, a Henry Winkler, not a stinger, but like a last scene. Like you get back to the mansion and he's like, "Ah, oh, how'd it go?" Blah blah blah. Sure, because mm-hmm. they they really try to make this Adam Smasher something something, and they don't. No. They and also, by the way, Cyclone yearn- was Cyclone was supposed to be either Hawk Girl or Star Girl, and both of them either had rights issues or they were uh, going to be used in other projects. So like, I don't know, Cyclone, who's like a Z-level character. And they, treat her, they a, treat her as such. There's a Stargirl show, I think. Yes. Now. Yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was a CW show. Of course, of course, because it's always CW. And yeah, they got a lot of them. But long story short, they, they go in, and the point of Black Adam, or one of the things that I know about the character, is that he, again, is, is a bit power mad, and that's kind of an interesting thing to have. 
the fact that he sits in this throne because there's a really you, you just Google Black Adam throne you'll see a really cool comic cover of this comic book illustration that has more personality than Dwayne Johnson has ever had <laughs> of Black Adam in this throne and his dick is ha- like not really but like his legs are spread he's yeah. like, really living in this oh, throne shit, like man you know, he's god spreading exactly <laughs> and it's like oh shit that's a badass motherfucker and like Dwayne Johnson kind of tries to do it and then he's like nope. That would be wrong. Then I would have any kind of anything interesting going on in a sequel. So yeah. I will now destroy the I, throne. I, I do not have an inner life. <laughs> I, I, I will not have an inner life. There's another part right here that is also a bunch of donkey shit that goes against the character, too. I think, Steve, I mean, they make it into the character that they have been desperately trying to yes. mold this whole movie. But Adam Smasher is like getting a little emotional at the end, like yes. saying goodbye to him. And mm. he's like. You know, I I thought for what it's worth, uh, you know, we made a pretty good team. And this is where he totally stops being Black Adam and he's just straight up Dwayne Johnson. Yes. And he just goes, no, we made a great team. Yeah, I was like, (laughs) what? Are no, you, you kidding me? No, you didn't. What happened to the man in black? What happened to Paint It Black? <laughs> Doctor Fate all the- is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a great team at all. One person I mean, was just stricken from the record. Look how much more personality this has. I'm just, I'm oh, sorry. yeah. Oh, I'm, thank you. Just yeah. like, oh, yeah. yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah that like it's, it's, there's, so there's a bunch of bodies see, there. That, that, that would be nice I'll imagine that. That would be nice. That swing and dick energy that this comic has, it, it, the charisma is not there for The Rock. He's too much of that guy who's... A Tony Robbins type of figure. Yes. That oh, that's a, that's <laughs> really Absolutely. good. Yes, yeah. you're totally right. And I think if if DJ's career went another way, he'd be fucking scamming oh. people in Florida. Give him thirty years. <laughs> Crossing but, over with Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> if the last po- shot of this movie was him getting in the throne, doing something. I mean, he, he kind of tries to do it again. He doesn't do it so well. He smashes it's just like. It. Maybe um you know like it's just like in, in, it's just him on the throne. This is black. the last. It's, it's like the last shot of the movie. It exactly, it's him, him on the throne, in black. It's like oh shit, now he owns Kandahar. What's Kandak? What's gonna happen next? Yep, that's something. And mm. it's instead, it's like he says, you know, or uh, she she calls him Teth Adam, and he's like, I don't know about Teth Adam. Oh that's, god, the what well, sounds a little uh, a little old fashioned. Well, what should we call you? And he literally smirks at the camera. Bum, Black Adam. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. It was the throne shot, motherfucker. I can know <laughs> that that movie's called Black Adam. And uh, that's exactly how that awful, awful uh, Josh Trank Fantastic Four movie ends, too. It's like, well, what should we call ourselves? Oh, yes. Like, we love to end bad movies still, this way. Still haven't, still have. One day, one day soon. That is great <laughs> throne ending, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. That he is also. That's right. That is also theoretically how Skinnamarink ends. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what should we call you? Skinnamarink. <laughs> uh, and then the stupid stinger happens. Best part of the movie. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. Uh, I mean, it's the last you'll ever see of fucking Henry Cavill. He just uh, shows up. We have to have a talk. Well, first That's it's Amanda it. Waller on a big TV going, Blank Adam, <laughs> you have too. my intention. Do I? Uh, it doesn't sound like it. Roger, you know, um, Roger could you bring the cards up? <laughs> I, I put bring them up. I can't. I, yeah. I need a, a line of sight. I here. got a lot of these to do today. Uh, uh, Mr. Freeze, you have my attention. <laughs> okay. um, Killer Croc. Ms. Davis, your sandwich. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> they left that in Black Adam. <laughs> Whole- Her getting a sandwich and talking to Mr. Freeze. Uh, Black Adam. Whole Foods has discounts on all kinds of fruits. Oh, sorry. This is the wrong. I, I was doing an ad for a radio later. <laughs> hey, Nana. Merry Christmas. Oh, no. Shit. Sorry. Um, <laughs> fuck. Uh, uh, Black Adam, you have my attention. <laughs> Uh, but you know, she's like, you can't live, con- you can't leave Kondak, you know, and if we do, you know, if you do, my people are coming after you. And he's like, no one on my, pl- on this planet yes. can stop me. And she goes, then I will get someone not from my planet. And you know, like me watching this movie, he throws a fucking rock through the TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> breaks also, that. This, these rules are good. He shouldn't leave Kand- yes. Kand- Kandak. Kandak. Spider-Man shouldn't leave New York City. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Superman shouldn't leave Metropolis. Batman shouldn't leave God. Well, you know why? Because then there would be a, a whole world that they could in, in, right. inhabit that you could actually build out with <laughs> but no, no, supplemental no. characters. Instead, let's all get together and v- cause a nuclear crisis or something <laughs> yes. in a fake Eastern European country. <laughs> sure. Or where, you know, we show up, we crash land in China for some reason. Ooh. It's just contain these movies. And so after you the wish. Amanda Waller TV explodes, this is when the John Williams music yeah. hits. 
and he floats down and he just says, uh, been a while since anyone's made the world this nervous. Black Adam, we should talk. <sighs> and then, yeah, that's literally the last time Henry Cavill will be Superman. I mean, I can't the- believe they didn't put him in a black suit. I'm going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, yeah, you Give didn't- Zach one billion dollars more. It would just be like some fucking loser outside of an AMC just self-immolating like that monk. <laughs> Mm. This is because you didn't give Zach a billion. <laughs> you know what? If they end up doing that, talk all you want. <laughs> also, talk listen, all you like. If you are on the edge, if you're, you're, you're going to do like a Buddhist protest of some kind over this, just know it's okay to like a movie. It is fine. Take it to just relax. Okay? We're having fun relax. here. We're having fun. It's okay we're, to we're self-immolate, okay? It's, <laughs> you don't want to take anybody yes. off the leaderboard actually, on that one. I, actually, that is true, Chris, but... I'm just letting the kids know they don't they don't have to. And honestly, I I had no problem with Dr. Kevorkian either. <laughs> Me neither. I think there should be a service for dying with dignity. I think he should be part of the Justice Society. <laughs> Speaking of dying with dignity, let's kill this episode. It's that Dr. Is- Kevorkian. <laughs> it's fucking Ted Kaczynski. All right, fucking no. end the show. No, we are ending it. Uh, that Actually, is, do- uh, sorry. Do- Doctor- oh, my God. I'm all sorry. Right. Jesus all right. Christ. All right. Dr. All right. Fate would be a great name for Dr. Dr. Kevorkian. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sure. That's actually yeah, true. Right. That's, you know what? I'm glad you interrupted me. That. That's, that's a great thought. Give him the helmet. <laughs> Ted Kaczynski as the tinkerer. That would also work. Or the mailman. <laughs> BTK as the vulture. Oh, I guess the mailman would be Berkowitz. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, Special yeah. delivery. No, he'd be Beastmaster. <laughs> Animal, no, he'd be Animal Man. He'd be Animal, animal Man. Man. Beast, Beast Master is a other franchise. Yes. I was going to say great, the Beast is film. the master of him. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's right. That, that dog was walking him. And who's that big fat dude from uh, Mindhunter? He'd be Swamp Thing. Of course, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ed Kemper. Uh, Ed Kemper. There yeah, yes. be Swamp Thing. There you go. Um, anyway, so yeah, <laughs> that is Jama Coyote Sarah's fucking Black Adam. Uh, final thoughts and recommendations, Eric? Okay. Um... <laughs> I really, I, this is one of the worst we've ever done, maybe. Uh, I, the thing is, like, yeah, I've disparaged people on this episode. I, I, the Rock has his moments. He just hasn't found anything that really clicks lately. All these other actors have been good. Um, um, you know, like Cyclone, for instance. Yeah. It, they're very good in Master Gardener. Uh, so so I'm not trying to blame it. I'm sure Adam Smasher's good somewhere. I haven't seen it, but... Mm. I don't know. It's just when you get into the weeds with these superhero movies, you really get in the weeds. I I can't recommend this. I can't say anything else. I want to. I I don't like it. Oh well, we'll, we'll get you a beer and get you to bed. Uh, so I, I want to go home. <laughs> beer, 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 bed, bed, bed. Chris uh, Cabin. Uh, oh no, never watch it. Jesus Christ, stay far away. And uh-huh. like theoretically, this would be the movie to bring back a, 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 a dark rock, right? Like yep. we had. We get every once in a while we get a, a nice sniff of it. It's Southland Tales, yeah. Doom, yeah, and right. something like Pain and Gain. These yes. are the things so where your s- movies definitely at least like twelve years old. Yes, exactly. And like yeah. with the exception of Doom, it's because he did give himself over to a director. Yeah, it's like do what you will with me. I'm not the main guy here. I mean, in Southland Tales, he is, but like, right? I, 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 I am, I am going after your direction. It's just not the fucking rock show, right? Uh, and like they just don't do it. Like he, he can't make it happen because he cannot allow for himself to look like the villain anymore. It's just not possible. And like, so like you just get fucking kid gloves on everything. It's just funny because like it's not gonna hurt your brand. No, people are still gonna love you. No, of course not. Tom Cruise can play a villain and still like fucking collateral. Fucking everybody's like it's one of the best movies by Michael Mann, one of the yeah. best American directors. Like it's I, I don't understand what the negative is other than if you are an insane person who believes in brand management too much. Yes, it's well, that, and he's he's afraid to act right now. Probably. I, I hope he finds his way. Me too. But yeah, fuck this movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> if this is the death knell of the DCEU, I welcome it, even though. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, you know, like we said, the Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey, 
Uh, what what else am I missing? Well, he's not part of it. Uh, what Wonder else Woman one. Wonder the first Wonder Woman is a great movie. Yeah, like there's just not much here that uh, that it actually were an Aquaman, of course. Yes. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And there's four more at least this year. I mean, they Ugh. are they going to wheel Ezra Miller out on a hand cart in a straight jacket for this fucking uh, Flash premiere? <laughs> I think like it's Hannibal be... fucking Lecter. Is that yep. what we're going to do, dude? Absolutely, man. <laughs> like, it they, is... they were releasing this movie Hell or High Water. I they're going to they're going to. Drag Ezra down the red carpet <laughs> on the cart. You know, they'll probably be all decked out and whatnot. Yeah. And, you know, they'll get a, approached by the media and whatnot. And it's just like, oh, Ezra, Ezra, yeah. the movie finally came out. What do you think about it? Love your shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they bite someone's nose off. Just, like, totally. uh, Senator, just one more thing. <laughs> if you Where's can... my mark? If Ridley Scott could replace Kevin Spacey with yes. Christopher Plummer, yes. you could find someone better than Ezra. Well, this, oh, uh, this, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Better oh, oh. than Ezra. This movie, there you were so good. This movie is coming out in June or something. They, yeah. So they say, so they tell me. Yeah. So is a Blue Beetle movie nobody wants. I mean, <laughs> what is that? I just, just hit. I'm totally fine hitting the reset button, except give me the Aquaman movie. Also, just dump that Batgirl movie on fucking streaming. And just, yep. it's there, yeah. it's done, just dump it, forget about it's it. It's kind of surprising. I was thinking about this the other day. It's kind of surprising that even with the Fraser songs that we find ourselves yeah. in, and everybody's talking about Brendan Fraser and the whale and everything, yeah. that they didn't turn tail and be like, oh, fuck, because he's like the villain in yes. that movie. Just dump it. I, I'm just, as a curio, I'm curious. But I think it's totally fine to turn a new page in this entire endeavor. And the best way to do it would be you got Batman over here in that great, the Batman movie. And then just, I don't know, make another Superman movie where it's just Superman doing Superman stuff. And then make a Green Lantern movie where it's just Green Lantern doing Green Lantern stuff. Then it's Wonder Woman again. If I'm fine with Gal Gadot coming back, by the way. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I, I, I think that second movie is... Not she's not great in it, but like she's great enough for the first one. It, there's needed to be a better idea, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just separate, just make separate movies, separate tent poles. And if you want to, in five years, figure out that there's a Justice League. Figure that out then. Just make real movies that actually have stakes, that actually have supporting characters that exist in that world only. Yep, that would be fucking fantastic. It's nice. Exactly. Uh, the only thing that I'll put to all those, because of course, don't bother with this if you haven't seen it, and they're not making any more of no. them, so you're not, <sighs> you know, going to need to play catch up on anything. Yeah, I guess uh, here's here's what I would like to see, and I think it would be kind of interesting. And maybe this is an HBO Max Peacemaker type thing. I don't expect this to be theatrically released, but I think an interesting idea because one of the better Marvel movies is that first Captain America movie. Sure. Give me a World War One like JSA movie and okay. introduce these characters because like Doctor Fate is interesting. At least he seems to me interesting. Yeah, but I don't really know anything about him. Yeah, this movie didn't do anything about that. They dropped hints that he and Hawkman had this whole life, and the original Henry Winkler Adam Smasher were all like coworkers and whatnot. Yeah. So like, show me some of that. But this is just it's four movies in one. It's it's bad. I feel bad for Dwayne Johnson, but. The dude goes to bed on a massive pile of money every night, so it's totally He's fine. He's just fine. Where he sleeps for one hour before waking up at, you know, 2 a.m. to work uh, out for six I just, hours. I just ate a bunch of cod. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to bed now after eating seven pounds of cod. <laughs> but that is going to do it for this discussion of Black Adam. And thus concludes if i'm looking at the calendar correctly oh, yeah. <laughs> uh all of the uh worst of the previous year uh month episodes and boy like we said we did have a stacked year uh of options so, yes good yeah. and bad and on the good side on yes. patreon patreon.com slash we hate movies we have uh a very fun discussion on Top Gun Maverick. Speaking of Tom Cruise, we did a little bit here. You want to cruise deep dive? You want to cruise on over to Patreon for that episode? Why don't you hate him? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we hate, yeah, we hate him too. On Animation Damnation, we've got Bot Bots, Transformers Bot Bots. Oh, speaking bot of bot. things that make you wish for death itself. That was a lot of fun. Uh, who we got in the Gleep Glossary? On the this month? Gleep Glossary, you guys are going to love this. We're talking about the entire season one of Animation Andor was a very good discussion. We've, you know, mm -hmm. obviously it might even be out already. And including in that, we have Mon Mothma, her crazy old EU history. You're not gonna, you're not gonna see 
what's coming and, with that. I promise. You. And on Melrose 210, of course, we're celebrating the first annual filler month. <laughs> uh, two filler episodes, but not the jokes. The jokes are not filler. Oh, no. right. you know what they will do? They'll fill you with laughs. There you go. That one. <laughs> and then there's the Star Trek podcast. We also do the Nexus. If you're not familiar, TOS and TNG. We are doing so much stuff. And of course, with the YouTube page is thriving right now. We've got this on screen live we've been doing talking box office numbers, little mini reviews, and trailer reactions. Mm. So make sure you subscribe over at youtube.com slash we have movies. Now here on the main feed where you where you are listening to this very program right now. Mm. The show rolls on next Tuesday, an all-new episode back to older shit than last year. Steve Sadak, where are we going? I mean, we are cashing a check we've been we wrote a long time ago. Finally. We'll be talking about R.I.P.D. R.I.P.D., oh, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. So back Re- to older movies, still Re- comic book adaptations. Rest in peace, department. <laughs> yes. I am so excited to revisit this. I've never seen it. I oh, my first what? And- wow. oh, man. oh, man. I kind of wish we were doing a first look commentary. Yeah. Instead. You're going to uh, take a first step into a larger world, Ooh, my friend. Dead you world. know, can I put it out there? I... I'm going to go ahead and guess that R.I.P.D. is better than Black Adam. It has to be. Mm. And I really despised that movie. (laughs) The only other time I saw it. Yeah, we'll just have to see on that one. Uh, Yeah, so until next week when we wait and see, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Seda. Eric Siska. Black Cabin. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.